this time, I'm going to ask you to fasten your seatbelts. I'm handing cold shoulders out as if it was a beverage I'm to my moves like I'm escorting the president Nowadays I see the trend with all this acting raps And in the audience the only place you see him clapping at See I ain't knocking it but everybody pocket it Get tuition and they think they earned the hood scholarship When I was coming up the credit always matched the work The question is how can you start a wave if you ain't never surfed I'm a flat bush nigga, we don't do traps We hustle or we vicking or we out here trying to grind a pack The whole industry is sanitizing in the traps So anyone who flow original, they got no time for that But I'm a pedal that's turning head like an exorcist Meant to measuring while I'm dosing bars like it's a medicine Under the sedative, the time is so relevant Because it works in favor for me to display my revenant Rocket clock, I be taking off in no time Survive off a sloppy second, so I really know time Spitting bars to build a cell, giving no time Even if they hands inside my watch, they still got no time Rocket clock, I be taking off in no time Survive off a sloppy second, so I really know time Spitting bars to build a cell, giving no time Even if they hands inside my watch, they still got no time Punch drunk when I stumble across my own thought And every time I speak it out, they hit me with verbal assault I got no time for a decade, I've been on the line Studying yeah, my lines to get the autograph and get signed But never mind, gotta get back on grind Spit that hip hop, make their head bop until they break their spine Still got no time for entertaining spitting without a proper stanza Poetry plagiarizing is planning through the propaganda There's no creating by reciting or for teleprompter That's why I propel and just watch like a helicopter I was told build patience but never been a doctor All this running around is for the gold like I'm playing soccer Time falls and shake while dripping from my hourglass Conditions make a change when every second considered our last If you could dig it, you find I got a gold mine Always grind first, no seconds as if I stole time Fuck we talking about, welcome to views from the east It's your boy Prada, ain't no one hotter I'm what doing that every doing? episode, fuck Same that same. Fuck it it's dice, you know it's right. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's my shit, bro. Nah, nah, that's my shit. That's my shit. Yo, that's that rocket clock from the album, The Saws. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all fucking I'll now. tune in. Oh, now, oh, now. Listen, man. Hey, you'll purchase this shit, shit. You feel me? Bro, every time, every time I'm driving, you know, I got the whole playlist on um, fucking shuffle. So whenever that shit come on, like, I could just be minding my business. Like, that's not, um, that's like my cup of coffee. Some people like to drink coffee. Me, I like to listen to music to fucking fact. wake up. You know what I'm saying? So I could be... But when that shit come on, bro, especially the little... Nigga, I could be in the... I could be lost in thought, driving, lost. I hear that shit, all of a sudden I'm like... Volume go up a little bit. Like 7 a.m., nigga. That if shit that... Not, boy, that beat is different. <laughs> now that shit is hard, bro. I don't know where I even got that beat from. I don't know where, but that shit knocks something different. What was good, bro? Oh shit, you know. Chilling. Fatherhood, husbandhood, work. <laughs> yeah, you know saying the 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 normal, the the regular, the routine. Right, 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 right. Along with you know, uh, uh, uh outside shit, which is rap, the pod, uh, uh, uh other shit going on. Yeah. But everything's cool. That's good. That's can't, good. Can't be. I mean, there's one thing that's that's a fucking that's a as it's an obvious issue. But that's the first topic. But what's going on with you, man? Well, we'll get to that later. <laughs> Not regular shit, man. Yo, we we live very similar lives. The only thing is now I got the second baby, so I'm so I'm so I'm winning the race right now. How's, how's it going? Is she uh, keeping you up? She she still she still cool. She's she's not bad, bro. She's like, cool. Uh, uh, you know what? You she she's the boss. Like yo, you when she start, she gonna give you a chance before she cries. She's like, hey, hey, get get change the diaper, pick me up, walk around with me. Feed me. Like, she'll give you an opportunity. If you take too long to catch up to what she's trying to she's tell you, yeah. all right, now I'm going to give you the... But she doesn't cry constant. It's like a... Like, the first one is a warning. Like, hey, I'm about to start making That's noise. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, nah, but it's, it's 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 much easier. People say it gets easier. It is. Um, Especially the wife. Like, you know, the first time, I, hopefully, you know, all women, I guess the first time they give birth, obviously, it's a lot harder. It's their first time going through that process. Yeah. Um, but this time she's bounced back much oh, quicker. Recovery, recovery. Yeah, yeah the recovery okay. is is is. I thought I was gonna be carrying her around like before, um, not literally carrying, but like you know, just like aiding her in certain ways. But now she's just like kind of solo. Um, 
doing everything in a sense. So I'm just looking at her like, what the fuck? Like, you, like, you all right? Like, you don't need to. But yeah, man, everything is good. You know, um, two kids. Uh, we're managing. Uh, we worked out a plan because we want to avoid all uh, arguments. At least I would like to. So, you right. know, kind of structuring like she's obviously the caretaker for the newborn most most of the time. Yeah, I'll go up there to relieve her so she could take a shower, grab yeah, something yeah. to eat, shit like that. But most of the time she's with her and I deal with um, Lauren. Got um, it. Take her to school, walk the dog. You know, I take care of the other stuff. So she's just free to be. Everything that's uh, already in play. You just already. Exactly. I manage that alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she I'm not take trying care of to. Me. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it it's is good. what it is. Sounds um, like a good plan, though. You know, no, 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 you have to because then it's like you know uh, you're gonna get one of I'm those. I'm doing everything, yeah, and you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. want one of those. I, 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 no, no, no. I already got that warning text. Like, hey, man, where's that support? So I'm like, hey, if, if you know, you know. If you're already in it, then you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. If you if you haven't, then good fucking luck, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, nah, as long as you on it, as long as you on top of shit, like I, you know, I just try to make sure I'm on top of everything, like. What do you need? Tell me now. Da, da, da. Before I even come, get relaxed, come down here or whatever I'm doing, let me make sure I do everything so it's like it's done. Uh, but yeah, man. It's beautiful. Uh, it's, 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 it's beautiful. Then we've been here. Yeah, man. Like maybe once or twice. I might have actually caught it. I'm like, oh shit, man. <laughs> but I'm done, though. <laughs> they hit me like, yo, you don't want a son? You got to go for three. Nigga said I'm done. Yeah, I'm like, done. fuck off. Yo, you gonna yo, yo, you, you gonna do a come on day? You gonna you gonna never yeah. wait? He he got three girls. Yeah, never. You see, he no 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 know. two 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 girls a boy, and then he snipped. So he he done. What do you mean he snipped? Like literally? Snip, nigga. Yeah, literally. He he done. Oh, so he oh so he no no. It's not a conversation. He's done. <laughs> that nigga. There's no coming heavy. back. That's yeah, crazy. yeah no no. So it's like a girl like I'm pregnant. Nigga, give that. <laughs> uh, you a, you a cheater. <laughs> Call me when you give birth. Or, so I'm going to take a DNA test. And I, I know I'm shooting blanks. That's, so that's different. Crazy. You know what I mean? Did it hurt? Uh, He said no. You sleep. That's that. Bro, that shit making me cringe. You know why? We, mm. This is the way we think about it as men. We think that the, I guess, the vein of or whatever yeah. that connects to what leaves a residue of pain when you wake up. Yeah. He said it doesn't. It's no residue of pain. It's, it's as if nothing ever happened to you at all. You, you just don't feel don't know. a stain when you pee. It ain't different. When you nut the next time, it ain't different. It's it no different. different. It's no different. It's just cutting the pathway yeah. of of the uh, the babies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything will cut, but it's just the baby part. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like the That's <laughs> crazy. it's like the sperm got the color and shit, but then it got the little motherfuckers in it. So, oh, like, the tubes that put the little motherfuckers in it, it's not there. But, you know oh, what I mean? The white shit's still there. You feel me? It still no, look like, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, but it ain't. Okay. You know? So, what happens to the baby? Not they all just, the ingredients there. there. There we go. Not all the ingredients is there. Well, what happens to the... <laughs> see, he got to... See, if he was fucking here, I'd be like, what the fuck is the other ingredients? Like, where, what? <laughs> like, how does, what is he, he probably don't know. Like, but, yeah, sh- that's the best way to kind of try to say it. Like... Because I, it's, I think some people like think that nigga, you don't even nut no more, nigga. Yes, you nut, dogs. What the fuck? And that, it comes out. <laughs> so it's like it's what not I like... was thinking is you already answered it for me because I was like, yo, that does that shit hurt now? Does the nut feel different? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm piss? thinking too. Are you feeling some fucking sensation nah. that's uncomfortable? At least like in recovery. I mean, I guess nah, over he time. Nah. Can... He said he nut? recovered really, really fast. Man, it's not this, it, mm, uh, oh, the bravery. Yeah, but I, again. <laughs> When he, when somebody told him about it and was like, when he was talking uh, to try to figure out like, how it feels or not, the doctor was like, yo, bro, it's not that deep, not even by a long stretch. You don't feel this, even for women, it's like, yeah, they feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, no, it's more of a feeling of they want it back. See, men can get it back though. You can slip this shit in, they can rewire your motherfucker. Like, you feel me? Really? It's, yeah. The tube mm. is something a little different. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, females, once that little, uh, once they boop. That shit a little difficult, dog. I don't think they can cut uh, it. That's back. something else. I think the woman know. can't. I don't think that they are at a high successful rate as men mm-hmm. when it come back to reconnecting. I do believe that it is a possibility. Something, but, for, something else for them to spite us. Yeah, sorry about that, yo. We kind of got caught up in it because it's an interesting. Nah, that shit, bro. That's that's man, shit. it's like, does that motherfucker hurt? Because you know, after yeah, we you like, get after on you show, like once or twice, no, it's yeah. twice, it's twice. After you not twice, that pee a little different. You're like, oh, nigga, uh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. well. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. A little, little slight, little, ooh, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. But then they come out. I think it's the switching of the pathways, though. If you ask me, I think. The bravery, bro. I mean, just I nigga stupid. I'm pulling out, bro. It's like, at him, he don't worry about that no more. It's just like, it is what I don't it is. He's letting go and everything moving. Yeah, he don't No, care. no, no. I'm not saying he, but I'm saying if Man. the opportunity presented, he doesn't have to safeguard himself like everybody else. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he don't need to worry <laughs> about that, like, or slip up or... or 
never hit me with that. That's that's nah, we got we gotta get him on. I gotta now nah, we gotta get him on here. Fucking yo, pull world, up a that's seat. a fact. Pull yo, pull up a seat, nigga. Let's talk about this. We got some stories. Sto- <laughs> stories about females. That motherfucker is brave. All right, so let's get into these topics. Okay, so. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, know, I know you guys are happy to see us. I know, I know. Relax. <laughs> Look, first topic of discussion is what the fuck makes me feel a little bit unsafe and quite a few people out there was feeling unsafe. This whole Russian Ukraine shit, right? So. Yeah. Right. Quite like everybody else, no, not everybody else. Most people who are social media based rather than news, uh, I'm like, is this a fucking joke? I seen shit blowing up, and then I seen air airport destroyed. I'm like, they're joking. This is obviously some clip that Facebook is sending around on some funny shit. Trying yeah, to get someone put scared. it together, yeah. And mm-hmm. then somebody from uh, because the wife is Polish, so then they did. They was like, nah, that shit real. Like it's really a problem, and we we feel. Like, we might be, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. threatened because of the situation. Because Poland was right the fuck there. Yeah, I was going to so say, I'm like, close. Oh, no, this is DEF CON. This is real, yeah. real deal shit. Mm-hmm. And when I looked at the video, I'm like, this nigga blew an airport up. This yeah. Putin nigga blew yeah. an airport yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, he's not. Boy, that is the main airport in Ukraine, homie. Yeah. Like, there's no leaving. They got to go into other places. Like, they got to head to Poland or Russia or I'm not sure what's... There's, mm-hmm. right, there's things I can't pronounce. So, I'm, I'm just not going to go there. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. other states... Stock cap. Yo, I don't know what it's it. called. Yo. Countries, yeah. Smaller countries. Yeah. Hey, I'm from the United States of America, right? So I just yeah. know of states and boroughs and yeah, countries. Yeah, yeah. If, if in anything other than that yeah, subsidized, yeah, yeah. I don't know, right? So the other no, countries. We, we'll leave that for CNN and and, 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 and and all of that shit. That's y'all get the y'all right? get the exact. The, the Turks let, let let the professionals and shit deal with that. Yeah, but yeah. I was like, that shit is wild. Did you see the video? I didn't see that video per se. What I was looking at was, um, what was that? I was looking at some some update or whatever the case is. Yeah. And basically, they were talking about more about um, him invading um, their space right. and, yeah. and talking about it's just peacekeepers to help them keep the peace. And I'm like, bruh. Nigga pulled up with tanks. Bruh. Like, that Boy, shit. full-fledged boots to the ground, this nigga. I mean, look. I'm going to keep it a buck. You know, in terms of political, global shit that's going on, I'm not I'm not the expert. Again, go to CNN and all of that. So you're not going to you're not going to come in here and get the the, the grain. The, there's no reporter here at BCC. Oh, you know, it was, it was this guy. it's not going to be none of that. <laughs> but for me, you know, sitting in our little bubble here in the United States, nice. um, I was just sort of like, yo, what the fuck is your at first? I thought it was like, yo, does Putin want to take Ukraine? Because I think wasn't it once upon a time, all Russia, all of it. Um, that's what, in the past, that's what they say. But when you speak yeah. to mm-hmm. a lot of people and like you actually do research, Ukraine always kind of somewhat existed. I don't know. Like I'm, what I'm saying is the people, I don't know if the actual country yeah, was yeah, yeah. on its own or independent. Yeah. I do believe they was somewhat a part of Russia, not mm. their, uh, a, it's like Ukraine, still Ukraine. Like yeah. they got their own shit. Yeah. yeah they're their own shit. Their own president. Their own they country. were, so, they were still connected to uh, Russia. I don't know what may have happened. I'm not a hundred percent factual on that so don't quote me yeah, but yeah. i do believe that there's like some two areas in between them whatever they want to call them two states um and putin was calling them like independent states or whatever the case yeah. is and i guess that's where he's moving in on again like for me just on a regular human being level just looking at everything the first thing i'm looking at is the fucking civilians like you're looking at buildings destroyed uh people are fucking dying like this is like a it's it's for me it's a luxury to be where the fuck I'm sitting where we're not worrying about shit like that. Right. Um but one of the key things about that for me was um they were showing the Ukrainian um president um speak on a situation like, yo, this this is violation. You know, this is a NATO violation. And he said something that was key that's just real life shit for me. It's like, yo, we're gonna see who our real allies are, right? Because they're part of NATO and all of that. So, so technically speaking, he's dealing with this shit technically Everyone else is supposed to get the U.S. Yeah. and everyone else is supposed to come in and intervene in whatever way to, you know, to, to stop it from happening, whether it's peaceful or if it has to go there, it has to go there. And he was like, yo, let, now it's time to really see who the real allies are, not just someone either you just saying, hey, let there be peace or no, you actually send in troops or you're actually doing something to stop him from doing what he's doing. Now, I, I again, I don't follow any of this. I can't speak to why Putin is doing it. Um. It looked like he don't give a fuck. Like, it looked like he's on some, I don't give a fuck what 
anybody got a say. I don't care who allies are. I don't care how many countries support you. That nigga don't care. I don't give a fuck. Hey, yo, that yeah. nigga dropped, he dropped two interviews that they're arguing to see based upon his tie structure and shit. If it was the same interview that he cut up in different pieces, meaning that this nigga could have just told y'all, nah, yo, we going to leave Thursday. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we left Thursday and that's all shot before Thursday. Mm. That nigga dropped that shit like it's two mixtapes, double sided, deluxe version on niggas. And they yeah. got motherfuckers like it's a Kendrick Lamar album. Like, play it backwards. What, what does he really mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is he really? My nigga is not mm. playing. Not only that, I mm. heard that NATO is the one who started with Russia and that instigated the situation yeah. into why the motherfuckers, is, is Russia's even uh, moving hot on um, Ukraine in the first place. Yeah. United Nations sitting back chilling, world peace motherfuckers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And in mm. America, this nigga Joe Biden was talking tough until the motherfucking tanks started rolling in. When that fucking airplane went down, my man was like, all right, okay, you know, because we just can't go in there. And they had an interview. Somebody was like, oh, so if it, there's Americans over there, he was like, well, there's nothing we can do. They have to stay lay low and, you know, try to, you know, not make things worse and uh, <laughs> don't, don't do any interviews. I'm like, my nigga took in his tail quick. My nigga not with nothing, boy. Well, Russia is is a mega power. It's not, it's not like Russia is some small-time country, you know. Obviously, we're in the United States, right? We're supposed to say we're the strongest military force and no we 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 got competitors out there it's not like we we running up on every country and just hey chill out before we send something over there russia's russia is is up there so definitely up there the yeah. only thing difference between russia is the care <laughs> what the fuck dumb niggas don't care about this is what i'm saying shit. it's a little sa more savage i'm sorry but like i yeah. we new yorkers right yeah. Niggas, niggas could deal with shit. We tough. Yeah. Because of the cold. Yeah. Their cold's different. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they come over here and ask you why you why you acting like that. Like it's not that different. Deep. Yeah. You see they women? Mm -hmm. Yo, if you if you can't choke slam her and make her feel something, then you not a man, homie. Fuck yeah. yeah, yeah. You. Yo, bro, I want to see your head, head. I want you to headbutt a brick, nigga. And you gotta yeah. bring in a hundred k. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Or if not, nigga, and you got or oh, or oh, I gotta see you lift. Half a car, bro. Yeah. If or, not, I don't feel like you're about that. Or take thirty shots of vodka straight. No straight. Complaint. I'm not, dog. Yeah. Don't look at me. I don't. Even, I don't want to see you cry. Actually, when mm. you take the shot, I don't want to see nothing come down the side. Any bit come down the side, you disqualify. Nah, they, they've always been um, shown as a tough culture. Yeah. Like a tough, you know, people in general. Whether it's in Rocky, the boxer, obviously he's killing people with punches. It's ridiculous. They're obviously, you know, they're they're not they're not they're not something, but. For me, just like I said, from a person just looking at it and looking at the news and everything, um, does it come across as bullying a little bit? It, it looks, I'm like, damn, like Ukraine, like they need help, like their people Agreed. are dying, like you know. I just feel sorry for all the innocents. And if there is a way, I think the only thing where I was like, damn, Putin, you kind of look like a bully in my eyes, is because they're like, yo, with him signing whatever that he just signed, whatever document he just signed, is like he's killing any chance of this being solved in a peaceful manner. You get what I'm saying? Like it's. He's like even entertaining it like that. Static. <clears throat> All right. Again, you Devil, know. devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. The way the world is now um, has been years since a war, mm -hmm. right? And the last joint was supposed to be Afghanistan. Yeah. Bro, the way the world is, people are fighting about whether or not they have rights in America. My man, if there's if there's gonna be a stop, a shock, something to make people, oh my God, what are we doing? Yeah. It's gonna be this. Yeah. Dogs. Russia's a threat. Yeah. Technology wise, scientific wise, all of it. Yeah, boy, yeah. these niggas has been right there. You could see within the movies. You could see within the history. No, yeah. Them niggas don't really yeah, play. Absolutely. So when America's like, we're going to the moon, Russia's like. Dogs, we're we're going in the next hour, right yeah, behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, like, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, we're right next, dude. Right like, next whatever it is, y'all do. We right the fuck there, if not a little bit further. Now, look how far it's going to say. Yo, it's like they're still looked at as the even if it's like, oh, U.S. is this and that. It's like U.S. ain't gonna fuck with them now. So yeah. U.S. is tough, but. They ain't finna fuck with them now. Yeah, it's like two two giants. Like they're like they're. I mean, there's other they giants just look, out there. They just seem to be a bit more different of a giant. 
Yeah, it's, it's like America's a giant that cons, right? Yeah, and, and Russia's a, a, a giant that wants to face face to face every time. Yeah, yeah, that's what it seems yeah, like. Yeah, to me. yeah. So like the the one giant that's like, yo, bro, we could fight anywhere with anything, doing whatever, dog. It could be to the death. We, we can do how this, whatever you want to do it. Yeah. America's the one that's like. I bro, I and then they slipped some shit in a drink before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing yeah. they got. Like, yeah. What the fuck are you talking about, Gus? We got this. That's what right, that's what America strikes me at. I don't know, I mean, bro. This, this shit is. It's like war. We in fucking twenty twenty two. Are we really? I mean, uh, again, man. Like I don't know. Like just just as an average Joe, just looking at everything, and I'm just like, yo, people are fucking dying. Like you looking at mothers and kids and. In the rubble, like people are running away from the shit, having a high. <coughs> oh, wrap it up. So, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so wrap it up. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, this shit is crazy, and I think you know. Again, I'm not the expert on it. I don't really follow it the way. Maybe I should follow it a little more. But it, it's a fucked up situation. Hopefully, they could resolve this shit with peace. Um. You know, peace, peace, please. I don't know everything, so just to it's easy to say Russia's the villains right now, and you know, damn Putin, that's fucked up, and blah blah blah. But these people have access to sensitive information and all this shit. We don't know nothing. We don't know shit. Like, like you know, all the reporting and all of this shit. But the people that really fucking knows is really going on is the people that's sitting at those tables, having those conversations with their secret service agencies and intelligence and all of that. We we just see something from the outside, and it just looks bad. And you know, um, hopefully, you know. Ukrainians um, pull through. Hopefully, this shit ends now. They Everyone, don't get help. Come on, bro. We we just came out of a fucking pandemic, and 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 now this shit. It's gonna hurt everybody. You see the gas prices. It's, bro. It, it's only the beginning. Act like you don't care. Continue to act like you don't care. You, you'll see. Bro. Ukraine makes it small prices. to people. There's a lot of good material and good stuff that comes out of that place. The same mm-hmm. way as Russia, you just can't cut countries off. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, mm-hmm. it, oh, with all the sanctions and shit and all that <clears> stuff <throat> that they want to shit, shit different, bro. Shit different. But uh, like, like, like homie said, uh, we're gonna wrap it up. That shit hat, your boy. I looked at that shit like, did somebody hack the motherfucking? Did somebody like like hack the speaker? Yeah. yeah. And decide to want to go, yo, my nigga. I y'all gotta y'all gotta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm talking too much. That shit called me of God, bro. That shit showed me how much of a bubble I'm in, bro. Like I'm so concerned with. You know, we deal with our personal lives, our families, work. We not thinking. That's why I'm like, war, World War Three. Like, what are we even talking about right now? And I'm like, what? I'm very, very possible. If you if you see the connection of how, yeah. if one person jump in, they got somebody to guard them, and if somebody else, uh, they got yeah. somebody. Yeah. If, if anybody, if America steps in, China's waiting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Waiting. Mm-hmm. Please, mm-hmm. please, please do something. Mm-hmm. Then we got India. It's it's I don't know, man. It's it's it, 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 this is it, it's. Hopefully, it don't get to that point. Uh, humanity, we need to understand something. Uh, mm-hmm. Even though it may seem extreme, we're fighting about dumb shit on the internet, right? Yeah. Reality in, a, in this world that we live in, in terms of perception, social media, the way you think people should look at you, the way how everybody should respect. Perception of reality is, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? War is a reality. Perception is the internet. Yeah. Bullying people. So, not saying it's not real. It is real, but it's a little different. Yeah. Thousands are dying. Your feelings are dying. Yeah. Total different standpoint. Yeah. Total that's what I said. different standpoint. That's why I, I can't speak to certain things, but it's like, look, US jump in, look, they drafting everybody. I'm not going. Fuck that talking about. Yeah, they, yo, Give me the jail time. I'm well, not doing it. Well, you call of duty niggas, I'm just saying. <laughs> yo, there was a fucking meme. I've seen the meme. Yep. Young thug. Yo. Niggas is looking like so yo, that you got shit. score, huh? Copy. Get him in. Make a joke out of it, bro. That shit. I was looking at this shit. The memes are always funny, but then when you kind of think about it, it's like, nigga, if they draft me, it's over. This is what I'm saying. But if they they draft me, I'm going to just, this is what I was, I I was waiting for this shit. I might get taken out, but I've been waiting for this shit. I'm going to be, I'm going to be a sniper. Like, if I'm going to go to fucking war, like, it got to be for a good like if you if if I'm being enlisted, like it gotta be for a good motherfucking. I want to be trained in China. Fuck that. I don't even want to be trained in the United States of America. What you what you trying to do? Why nah, I want hand to hand combat. But, you know what I mean, guns is cool. Uh, yeah. I need some hand to hand combat. Yeah, these we'll Russian niggas could fight. You feel <laughs> me? I'm just saying. Like <laughs> once they get in close, you seen, you seen that little military joint going on? These niggas is running through walls, brick punching bricks. These niggas is kicking Dude. two cases of fucking concrete, and I don't know why Russian concrete just looks harder than other concrete. Yeah. Does. But 
let's 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 digress. We don't want to stay on this too long, but right. yo, uh, peace and love mm-hmm. to uh, everybody in this situation. Ho- hopefully, Ukraine can get the assistance, even if we kind of gotta get pulled. Gotta, if the United States gotta get pulled in it for world peace to come a little bit more sooner. But at the same time, we do need people to understand that there's other things out there that's a little bit more important than, you know, people, the genders fighting each other, male and female, and uh, da, 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 da. And then, mm-hmm. you know, the other people who just want to, you know, have multiple, like, have as much genders as stars in the sky. You know what I'm saying? There's things that are a little bit, you know, a, a bit more important, right? Our freedoms and uh, the livelihood, right? <laughs> He's like, the livelihood. Yeah, I'm just saying. But um, what else we got cooking? Okay, okay, okay. Everyone just fucking relax. Man. I we gonna stay on the like the, the the beef shit and then kind of skate into something else because yeah. I first and foremost, this is a little bit urgent because I, before we go into the other beef shit, because this is not too too long of a topic, but it, you know, New York, prepare yourself. Okay. Stop and frisk is coming back, right? Eric Adams, this guy, not a New Yorker anymore. Jersey nigga now. Mm-hmm. But Brooklyn at heart always. I got to look out. I got to look back. I got to make sure what's going on over there. And then mm-hmm. when I seen what that Eric Adams niggas was, was doing, I'm like, this nigga tripping. Mm-hmm. When the president comes in to, to a state and then they got like reinforcements in the background, mm-hmm. right? And the pictures and shit. Mm-hmm. We got to make this state safe again. If, if for those who don't know, Chicago, just an example. Mm. Once they start doing that, cops about to start playing a total different game, dogs. Mm. A total different game. Now, towards 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 my community, hip hop, rap, this drill shit, y'all are tripping. Like. Of course, New York, we always had our shit. You know what I mean? We had, we had our corner boys, niggas on the corner, drug dealer niggas, niggas who get money. We had our schemers. We had our scammers. You know what I'm saying? You had our robbers. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Niggas mm-hmm. that rob niggas. I mean, everybody had their place, though, right? Yeah. This new thing that's going on right now is it seems like they're killing for fun. The shootout is for fun. Grand Theft Auto's whack. I don't even want to do GTA. I'd rather just go outside. And because COVID's here, I got I to gotta wear a mask anyway. anyway yeah. So I might as well just start shooting at fucking people for no goddamn reason. And I heard cops getting shot at too. This is why. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a different... Oh, and this is why the Stop and Frisk is being reactivated. Probably yeah. uh, probably multiplied with, with some additional um, fine I believe about there. two cops. And I heard there was a shootout. Like, not mistaken. Not like the cops... Pull, pulled in and it's like, oh shit, we gotta protect ourselves. Them niggas is like, fuck y'all, nigga, let's get it, ha ha, type shootout, right? That's 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 like warrior vibes, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So there, there was there was basically there was no reason for it that really happened. It was. Just... I don't want to say no reason. I I want to say the bravery is what stands out. Yeah. The fact that it's not like a I'm you the cops got that person or people trapped. Yeah. Nah, it's like we just shooting because we just fuck y'all. Yeah. yeah. We that. About it that we gonna shoot out with y'all. Yeah, 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 like, like, oh, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Cause usually, me. obviously, when the cops pull up, there's there's hesitation. Everyone is different. Everyone, Nigg- niggas everyone... is shooting but trying to leave. They trying yeah, to wait. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, so, exactly. Or they're trying to avoid that confrontation yeah, at all costs. Go. They're not even. But now it's really like movie shit. Like, okay, the, yo, the cops is outside. We gotta shoot our way through it to get out. Yeah. So it's like that. These niggas is like, we can leave, but this is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or we about that life. We gotta. That too. I mean, I don't like to see any lives lost, especially um, African Americans and, and, and shit like that. But to your point, um, just music and all, I just feel it's it's a different era, right? And I guess I'll never have an understanding for it because of the era that we were born in, right? Guns was always around, always. but I felt like it was always the last resort. That would only be any weapon in general, like anything that's taken someone's life. I feel like that was always like a last resort situation. To you, you get what I'm saying? To the, the last possible escalation, and to for that to even be something is someone else brought that out first. But anytime I've ever seen conflict, and I've seen gang fights, I've seen pretty much everything. People that hate each other, but it was always fist. It was even if it was ten dudes versus ten dudes, it was fist. It was this. It was that. But it was never nobody pulling out a weapon. It was never nobody stabbing nobody. 
Um, well, we had our instances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't a popular. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't the go to. This is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, there were some dudes that was just like, all right, I'm, I'm not doing this no more. Niggas, wow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, but for the most part, there was some. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's we don't value life anymore. If we don't fear jail and consequences, I don't. I don't know what changed. Um, I'm maybe glad. shooting people is more. I'm glad you stumbled into that because that's why I was. That's why I was going. That's why I hit the eureka. I'm thinking. I'm like. What 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 mm. is it? There's there's not enough fear somewhere, right? Because when me and you mm. was growing up, it's like, <clears throat> of course, shooting a gun is all right, cool, not yeah. a hard thing to do. But it's like, if I get caught with that gun, nigga, yeah, the amount of time, yeah, that I'm, you know what? Here's the best way to say it. Maybe jail ain't really putting fear in niggas' hearts because mm. Rikers, when me and you was growing up, was like. Niggas was getting their face slashed the fuck up. Yeah. You feel me? Mm. It's potential that you could get your ass taken. Yeah. You feel mm. me? Now, when I when I wound up going right because I'm niggas laughing, it's like, boy, that shit is a made up story. Niggas ain't really doing that shit here. If it if it is, it's a wild nigga. This that's, nigga's that's wild and this is who he is, right? He's locked up. <laughs> right? He's in the and they said, but said prison is where it really kind of goes down. The upstate shit is where it really go down. What I'm saying is, mm. even with the term of upstate, I don't think upstate niggas is really getting really is there's not enough raping going on. Sorry, but there's not enough rape going. Maybe it's starting to slow down. Of niggas getting a knife stuck through their fucking throat, yeah. and it's like you're mm-hmm. not making it out. It's not enough threat there. It's not enough mm-hmm. shit going. The reason why I say that because these niggas is going in and coming out and going back in. That's Boy, that fear don't seem to be there no more. It's like now nah, my man up there, we good, my nigga. Commissary, nigga, that should be lit. We got the phones. You feel me? I got my iPad. They you got have a what? Phone. Yeah, yeah, it's different. It's different. It's different. They could communicate via text, email. Look. It, it it depends on the the, the level of the, the you know the facility that you're at though. So I'm not okay in none of those things I mentioned. By the way, what I'm saying though is the yeah. fear of that. Yeah. Kept people kind of like on a nah, I can't do that, bro. Yeah. Or like it's, or if you did do something like that, you out of town. You're not comfortable. You're not yeah, relaxing. Yeah, yeah. You you moving around. For me, when I you know again, it's just a different era thing where I'm just like, yo, why didn't y'all just fight? Like what? Wh- like why did the weapon have to be? It's like or. Or it's 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 a lot of pride and ego, and I feel it's a lot of clout chasing. It's like, yo, you got your ass whipped. The retaliation shouldn't be instantly like, yo, I gotta go kill this nigga. Oh no no, or, that don't that don't exist anymore. No what you're talking about, mm. the ability to kind of get in there and it's like, mm. all right, let's fight. That requires being able to consider a loss. They don't consider losing at all. I'm going yeah. to win if you gotta die. Yeah, that's the mind frame. I don't know. Um, you know, it's it's a different <laughs> arbitrage. Listen, listen, I, I, I'm a I'm a fucking civilian. I don't know anybody. I have no ties to definitely. Nothing. A I don't know anything anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, so I'm not gonna even pretend to even know what's going on, what changed, what the rules were. But I know it was just a little bit different. Now it's just an instant. To me, though, how I look at it, because of the generation that I'm in, I look at it as a little soft. You know, and it's no disrespect to whoever is hitters and whoever wants to. But I feel like if your first if your first instinct is like, yo, I need to pull out the weapon. I'm not even trying to fight. Like, that shows me you have no heart, period. Because without that weapon... You get what I'm saying? Like, what do you do when they catch you without it? Is well, it is it the same energy? Are you the same... There, if, you, you if, get what I'm saying? They, it may seem like they're getting a very generous win nah. to, to a battle. Think about what I'm saying. I'm not saying... Yeah. I'm saying generous win in terms of you, when, when someone is killed... There is no retaliation too much from that person. It may be from from somebody else, the yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. but it's not too much from that person, mm. right? So it may seem like a, a different right rather than fighting. Like a fighting is a little bit. You might have to combat with that nigga eight times. You might have to fight eight times before you niggas realize. No, like, it is what working. it is. Bro, right? you remember but for them? See, yeah. the thing is with the people who fight, their greatest thing is the scuffle, yeah. the, the 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 courage to get in there and. Roll around, get hit two, three times. You know what I mean? Hit a nigga. Yeah. Get hit, hit a nigga and understand that I still got to find a way through this. Like, like I'm, yeah. I'm hurt, but I got to kind of yeah. get through this. Their thing is they have to live with that soul haunting them. Yeah. Right? It, see, it may seem, oh, the nigga's mm. like, yeah, clip that nigga. Da, da, da. So it, to everybody, it's like, that's crazy. This nigga free. He didn't took a life. Oh, you think that this is a generous win for him? Oh, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. I live with that. The way that comes back is different. Yeah. He, he ain't the same no more. He no longer trusts why that fucking spirit is telling him, 
I'm going to get you. Stay going to get you. We all going to get you. We all going to get you. Somebody going to get you. And they're like, I can't trust nobody. Fuck that. They're willing to clip any and everything. But all it's going to do is add more to the, we all going to get you. We still going to get you. I think it's the spirit of, we going to get you back. And it's like, nah, man, I can't trust nobody. They're going to come back. Somebody going to come back. And you're going to kill another person. That's going to emphasize again. You kill them. It's going to emphasize again. To the point, you can't be in locations with people. Your yeah. brains, you all. Hey, you know what? If that's the road you'd like to take, mm. kudos and prayers. I'd rather take that chin check. Yeah. You feel me? That yeah. lost nigga's like, damn, yo, you got beat up, but my frame's still there. I'm intact. I can yeah. get a job. I can live my life a little bit. You yeah, feel yeah. me? I can evade that sooner or later. Yeah. You, my friend, can't evade this shit. Well, that, that, this is what it is. Listen, if you're about that life now, gang, gang, I feel like bottom line, right on the contract, you, you got to be willing to take a life. It's it's immediate. At, and, and Or die. Not enough or people die for the call. There you die go. For that fucking course. There you go. So again, you know, I'm not in the street. So for me to <coughs> wrap it up. That's hilarious. Um gotcha. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't like it. I don't I don't like that. That's the first reaction. I feel like, yo, you in a gang, you got beef with this gang. Y'all see each other in the streets, scrap it up. But again, this general this is different. Maybe it's deaf on sight. That is enemy. He cannot live. We don't know what the beef is. Hey, you, you shot my man. I understand revenge. I would I understand that aspect. Like, yo, you killed my friend. So when we see you, you're gone. I could understand that. If I lost a loved one, I understand that emotion. But if it's just the first thing where it's like it's on site, like, nah, we busting shots when we see you automatically. To me, it's just like, damn, like we as a culture and yes there's hispanic gangs there's there's all different types of gangs but i'm speaking to our culture specifically we already have enough shit against us there's already enough killing on all sides of of um thing you want to know what's funny um real quick to um woos and choose and all you know it's funny when i was young i used to say like yo bloods and crips they beef they beef they beef and um doing research um i, I figured out you know the gangs were technically created to go against cops like to stop police brutality and all yeah. that shit like that um, and I guess it just turned into, you know, the, the verses or whatever. So I always understood that concept. But I was like, yo, it'll be a scary thing, um, you know, for the bad police officers. Like, like yo, at some point, people are going to be like, all right, you're doing a little too much when these gangs unite. And fucking, I don't know, like five, six years ago, I literally seen Bloods and Crips chilling, talking about, woo. I know nothing about woos and chew. I, I don't know anything. I don't know the, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I Not, not to speak on that. It's a Brooklyn... Is that just a Brooklyn thing? thing? Is it's it a just Brooklyn, a Brooklyn thing? Brooklyn structure thing. Um, I thought or it was, New York, should I say? New York is the best way to put it. I it's, thought it was a, a cool thing, though. It's, like it's to a see... New York structure thing. Because Bloods and Crips didn't originate. If, if, you, if you were on the West Coast, yeah. they cannot drop Crip or Blood. No, no. Like, it, like same as the way I was Crip. Like, nah, I don't want to do it no more. You just, just live your life. And yeah. In the West, they cannot do that. You cannot do that because... Mm. Like, they don't forget your crip. They're yeah, going to yeah, kill yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you go work gym, over there, gym you'll, membership. you'll still yeah. die. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. then end up being like, they, what a lot of people realize is like, for those who are outside of the West Coast gang life, mm. they're like, when you go see it, it's like, why is this nigga 70 gang banging? And they will explain to you, mm. if I walk outside of here, if I decide to want to stop wearing blue, the red guy who know I killed his cousin doesn't forget and will kill me. Yeah, yeah. Kill I cannot him, escape out of this. I cannot leave it. Yeah. They will not forget. I cannot forget that they won't forget. Mm. So I gotta stay here. The it's, fact it's that crazy. you can't do that alone is like, oh, oh, I, 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 can, I thought of this motherfucker. No, it's for life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm opted out. It's, it's Goodbye. Real. Right I'm, now, I'm, I'm out because if you, that's why they don't respect what's going. They, you could say you're whatever the fuck you are, whatever. We don't respect you. Didn't come from here. You, you could leave it. You can, you can oh, walk so three you... blocks and I can't walk three blocks. Yeah. I can't get a job because I live here and if I decide to want to, I could possibly get shot and die. Yeah, I got to work in my This is what I have to do. No yeah. choice. But it's like once someone put it in your head, it's that way. It's like mm. I walked by so many blood neighborhoods and these niggas kind of looked at me and they're like, I'm going to get them later. And I'm like, I'm going to see you later. And it's like, that's not the same thing. No, that shit, bro. I, again, the, <laughs> the, the, the like for me... Because when I first heard of Wu's, I just thought it was strictly just Crips, like another set of some shit until I seen Sorry. like the red and the blue tied together. And for me, what I was looking at it as was like a, um, 
I was like, oh shit, like that's they come together. The to, I'm thinking like you know Black Lives Matter. I'm thinking this is what triggered all of that. So I'm like, damn, they've had enough. Like they like saying like, listen, let's put our shit to the side for right now and protect the neighborhoods. This this is what I I don't know the other purpose of it, but this is how I was looking at it. But you know to hear what you say now. So basically in the West Coast, that's never happening. They they're, they're never. <laughs> What I'm saying is also yeah. there. There's there's a lot of places and areas where it's like Bloods and Crips are cool, but it's so invest. It's like the cool the people who are cool are yeah. above the street. They're not the everyday street mm-hmm. dwellers. Yeah, Gay may be one of the few who may be an everyday street dweller, but he's still above that in a yeah. sense. He's not at like that mm-hmm. where I can't escape. Some people mm-hmm. are in their situations and can't leave that area because of. But mm-hmm. I don't want to. Homie, yeah, already, yeah, yeah, homie already kind of yeah, yeah. came in and was like, y'all niggas better chill out. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, niggas, niggas said, <clears throat> copy that. But let's keep it inside of the idea of beef. Uh, uh, yeah, man. So let's idea stop that. fucking killing so, each other, man. Fucking box or something. Chill out. Fuck. Do that. Yeah, right? just, just box. Uh, uh, I mean. Shoot basketball. So, I don't know, bro. Street Throw footballs. Fuck out of here. Um... <laughs> It's, it's too many. Uh, we're making a lot of money. Black people are making a lot of money. We're not. We yeah. didn't. We didn't like completely change anything because we still only own two percent of America. So to the stop and frisk, it's, it's the same. They just randomly pat you down, no matter. Yeah, no, they're trying to go about it a little different mm. because of you know this is gonna have its effect because you know the DTs don't give a fuck. Yeah, they. Well, so they, 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 they they're trying to somewhat control because once they they know once they pass that to them, yeah, kind of go a little bit crazy. Wow. So, uh. Other other news, mm-hmm. um, the Tory Lanez and uh, Megan Thee Stallion situation. This is this is this is going to be periodically talked about. The, the reason why <laughs> this right here is talked about specifically is because that boy academic was going crazy. Yeah. That nigga was. Mm-hmm. It was as if this nigga like she said something to him. Boy, that shit got that nigga tight. Yeah. So let's go to what happened. So what happened is Megan posted up. I believe yesterday, two days ago. Mm. She posted up on Twitter. It was a screenshot of a text message that Tori sent her, I believe, that night. It was of it was him apologizing. Uh I was drunk. Um I apologize. I I ain't mean to like hurt you or whatever the case may be. Um and I know you probably like gonna hate me. Okay. So academic kind of breaks th- this thing down. So first I got to play devil's advocate with each person I'm speaking about. So, Tory. Everybody's like, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Devil's advocate. What if he texts saying, I'm sorry, right? And he said, I'm sorry for shooting. I don't think there's no man on the planet who's going to text a female, I'm sorry. And if he is sorry for shooting, I think he would probably say, shooting you. Yeah. Now, or, it was an or maybe the nigga, there we go. Just did the key word. Yeah. Okay. Now, other side of that, hold on. Let me give a little bit of academic starts breaking shit down. He's like, so what happened to you and your friend? Because your friend Chelsea was there that night. Yeah. Okay. You guys don't know the story. So for those who don't know the story, supposedly, Tori was fucking with the friend before even remotely fucking with um, Megan. Okay. Her friend got sick. Caught COVID. Yeah. She was out out of, out of it for two weeks. During that two weeks, Megan was chilling with Tori. Yeah. Megan didn't know that Tori and Chelsea had anything going with each other. He didn't know that they fucked. Yeah. Tori and Megan fucked. Okay. Here's where things get a little bit tricky. Chelsea's at the party with Megan and Tori and Kylie. Yeah. Megan don't know about Chelsea and Tori. Chelsea don't know about Megan and Tori. Mm. In the middle of the pool, Megan is drunk and swims over and tongue kisses Tori. Mm. Mm. Chelsea knows nothing about this. Yeah, Chelsea's like, what's what you so, 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 could you just know? You got to understand. They're still chilling around each other, dogs. Mm. No, no. Tori is chilling with both of them. So to Chelsea's brain, yeah. yo, yeah, we, me and Tori possibly could have just had a little. I mean, may not be serious, but that's yeah. still somebody I potentially fucked or whatever. Yeah, him, yeah, him, 
that Megan ain't doing nothing because if they did, they would have said something to me. Yeah. Megan feels the same way about the Chelsea chick. Yeah. Me and Tori, we done, but uh, we haven't really said nothing to her. But mm. she should matter. It should matter because they not. And then to find out at that same night that he supposedly shot her, but th- th- this is the details that I feel like everybody don't, they're not thinking about when it comes to the text. Mm. They think the text is from 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 a, a, a guy's standpoint. I could I would text this yo my fault, bro. If I shot you, I'm not texting you. You basically. <laughs> I'm just trying to say. But, but I feel like people. He he's a street nigga, right? There's no street person that has common sense that's going to implicate themselves in that way. Even if you did do something like that, you're not texting that. That is a face-to-face conversation apology. But look how fucked up it is that... You know what I'm saying? To- that she didn't... Know, like, it's kind of like... I don't know. I don't I don't believe that Tori and um, Megan was considered exclusive. Yeah. yeah. I, I, they may have been trying to get to that. I don't, I don't know. But the church chick, she don't know what's going on. Didn't they see the, that kiss shit happen? In the middle of the pool? Yeah. Tori's like, what the... I, I, I don't know. I'm just hypothetically just looking at it. If yeah. y'all didn't say y'all exclusive, bitch, why the fuck you kissing me, bro? Kylie's right there, bro. Mm-hmm. If I can get that, that's billion dollars. I'll see right there. It, 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 what I'm saying is, yeah. what her kissing this thing in the middle of the pool just causes such a friction in that party, bro, that nobody's taking into consideration. The Chelsea chick's pissed now, right? Mm-hmm. Kylie probably because he was. I know. I know he was flirting with Kylie that night. It's yeah. no motherfucker way he wasn't. Plus he's, and you know, off that little video that she was kind of like salty with him or something. Like something was going on, dogs. Yeah, I know mm-hmm. what was going on. Oh, you acting brand new around these bitches. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's my dick. But to him, it's like we're not exclusive. When the fuck did I become your dick? I yeah. fucked her and I fucked. They don't know that he fucked both of them. They, these, they're friends. They're best friends. Yeah. They don't know that they're fucking this nigga. Mm-hmm. I just personally feel like that's a lot of emotion right there, dogs. Like, I mean, like a different level of fucking a lot of emotion, dog. We came from the mud, just Chelsea and, and Megan. We yeah. came from the mud, bitch. Yeah. You finna do this shit with some random nigga? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't come first. Yeah. I don't know. For me, that's a little bit more fiery, dogs. There's, 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 a, uh, there's a lot in what you said where I'm like a little weird. Well, one... Megan pulling up and, and kissing him in the pool while he's right next to Kylie and doing all of that. That was just her way of like, uh-uh. This is this is me right here. Let me let me show all of y'all right now. Don't even get comfortable. But here's the thing. Um, I know a lot of females. And once you have sex with a female, you don't really need to... There isn't really something that needs to be spoken about. It's sort of like once they give you their bodies in that sense she, she, she they automatically it. that's an automatic they don't it's not men don't process process even if even if a woman says we're just friends we're cool but it's she, it's never just that for her she's just saying so he doesn't get freaked out yeah that is the only reason women even remotely agree to say no 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 we're not taking this sh- we just cool bruh she mm, just don't want you to get freaked, get freaked out, out yet yeah yeah that's all it really is she like yeah. what's going on mm-hmm. she rather just go with what, what you think just yeah. to keep it kind of cool, but she know. For now, I, this is what I'm trying to tell niggas. I, I spoke to I spoke to this nigga come on about this a couple days ago. Yeah. He was like, "Yo, dogs, the way that this chick stole my soul with that mouth of hers." Yeah. He said, "Nigga, I took a couple shots of that Casamigo, yeah. and I was, yo, I was wilding her the fuck up. That was fantastic." And I'm like, "See, that's problematic, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do we not know what we're doing?" I'm like, mm. "You know what you're doing? Do you do you know what you're doing?" Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Like, no, as your man, let me let me break it down in such yeah. a way that you're, mm-hmm. that you're like, damn, nigga, damn, you right. Okay, cool. You said her head is right, right? Okay, mm-hmm. cool. You you said she likes you a lot. You said that uh, mm-hmm. she's really comfortable. Mm-hmm. Everything is fine between you and her. And she said one key thing. Mm-hmm. You're perfect for me. My nigga, did you forget that before you caso me go down? Yeah. Did you forget she said the words to you? You are the perfect nigga to me. Boy, you're my boyfriend. Once you casso me go to her, yeah, you're my you, boyfriend. You, Nick, what niggas don't understand. You yeah. fuck these women different when you in that. Let me see what I can do today. Yeah, what us men don't understand is yeah. when you do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's that bond you're creating. That bond, the way she sees it is like, oh hell no, this <laughs> ain't is no a, man finna do me like this, this and not and not, not and not be my boyfriend. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
So from her perspective, this is what I'm saying. Like, and and it's for Chelsea. It's the same way. Even if they know it's not like that ain't my man, but nah, we we fuck. So he owes me some sort of loy. There's some sort something of unspoken of loyalty mm -hmm. of, of of something where it's like, yo, if I'm at least present. Don't be flirting with these other bitches. That, if I'm not here, do what you got to do. I, and I think and I, and mm. even for a woman who goes, you know what? Yeah. We fucked. We had a good time. Yeah. But respect me. You got, even as a dude, you got to kind of somewhat respect this. Is what I'm saying. That. Yeah. Like, yo, homie, if I would have found out later mm. in the night that y'all had sex from her mouth and her just fla flapping it out, I would mm. hit you up like, dude, what's up? Yeah. And you could have like ABC and I'm like, I right, but it's quiet. Da, da, da. Yeah. When you do this type of weird shit publicly, yeah. Right now, he didn't do nothing but making it, but it still ties into the same shit somewhat. Cause she gonna come at him like you motherfucker, but it really is gonna be towards Megan. The reason why is because she might think Megan have she might have told Megan something. She might have said something to Megan that might have been like I'd like Tori or Tori's cool. Well, and that's that what I'm about to tell you. That might have been the thing that where Megan goes. You know what? She said, cool. Let me, let me go chill with them. See. And they fought. You see, that is the thing. Now, this is what I can't say. Bruh, I've had moments when I slightly got into my feminine energy a little bit more mm -hmm. than I needed to. Mm -hmm. Dogs get, yo, I, I, I've been I've been kind of talking to the same girl for a long time. So, so this is a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> not the high fine school, print. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah fine print. <laughs> so we be talking high school, junior high school, nigga. A chick, nigga, suck the fuck boy, boy, oh motherfucking boy. Mm. And the way she did mm. what she did, mm. rubbing my chest with the bristle, yeah. juggling them. I felt like she cared about me, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't like she was just doing me in. I feel yeah, like she cared about yeah, me, bro. Yeah, yeah. I did. When I found out somebody got the same work, probably that same week, yeah. I was hurt, homie. Yeah. yeah listen yeah. to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I don't have females, <laughs> but I was so hurt, nigga. Nigga, I'm like, you you gave him that mouth. You thought you, you, you thought you it was an exclusive? Him. Nah, I have to thug this out. Fuck it. You gotta have to hold you, it down like yo, a reporter. You, <laughs> you get you gave him you gave him my mouth. Yeah. That's my mouth. Yeah. I never felt nothing like that before. Yeah. The way you touched me, you you touched my back. Yeah. None mm -hmm. of these chicks be touching my back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 you rubbed my shoulders as we was getting the shit into it. You felt that entitlement. <clears throat> you felt like, hey. What you said right there, what we don't realize, when we touch him, yeah. think about when you put her in a chokehold. <clears throat> she slightly can't breathe. And then and then and then you go in a little bit further than you than she expected you go. Yeah. And she take that breath of God. Ah. Yeah. What you think going through their head, bro? Yeah, like this is this is a contract. Nah, at some point we, we we gotta we gotta relax. We gotta as men we gotta somewhat oh, relax. Uh, so, yeah. No, no. I'm, I'm, everybody likes to listen to this type of talk and think they that they that mm. nigga. Every one of y'all not that guy, bro. Yeah. Please understand the killers. <laughs> you, you, the bedroom you killers and maybe have one or two females one or two bodies but, but you dudes who think that every little female you in touch you that mm. guy mm. you probably not that guy me as a man I know I'm not that guy for all mm. of them you can't be that guy for all of them boy. I wasn't always great <laughs> right <laughs> ew I wasn't you wanna know what's crazy <laughs> we, and we gonna go back into the mic that, that's a funny story because I'm not gonna drop a name. That's crazy. I was about to. Um, <laughs> I was about to. That's crazy. I forgot where we are. But you know, in the rookie days, you know, we have sex. We chilling. It wasn't the best performance. I'm not gonna be in here to. Why would we lie? Listen, I'm not talking about size or anything. It was just listen. Oh, I, I, I one and done. But you know, this is young age rookie mode. You know, just thinking I'm the I'm that guy. But best believe, <laughs> as I grew up. <laughs> skills enhanced matured you know That's a fact. work the muscle out to the point where i'm best Confidence. believe Confidence. best believe i went and found that same listen the minute i saw that same girl again in my life i said yo I got and you. in her brain she was like all right cool we already did this so it's not you know too nothing it's a do-over oh no 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 it's not this this is let me really show you what it's about that it's so funny that you say that because not everything is a body but if I could go back and, and well, obviously I'm not going back now, right? right. Marriage. Um, but I'm saying in that moment, 
when I saw her, I was like, yo, there's an opportunity to clean up that memory to do over. Hey, I ain't that same. I ain't that same dude. This we tap on the shoulder. I could walk. Yep. I ain't that same. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could walk. I've been to a few wars. Yeah. It's so funny that you say that. But um, to go back to the um, Megan and Chelsea, right? So one of the things you were saying too is like, yo, they're best friends and. To my knowledge, females that are best friends or females in general that that speak on a normal basis, the minute they sleep with a guy, that is conversation for the bestie. Unless I'm wrong, every every combination of females that I've seen that, well, yo, this is my best friend, this is like my sister. Mm -hmm. The minute one sleeps with a guy, the other one knows the night of. The minute the guy leaves, that female's on her phone like, hey, Stacy. Uh, you know, we, we finally did our thing. Y'all discussing the size, if we were good, um, all of this. So for me, it's like, okay, if he did sleep with Chelsea first or whatever the case is, I'm assuming Chelsea would have been like, yo, I got Tory. Now, see, that's what I'm getting at. I'm assuming. What do we think? I'm assuming. Unless she didn't want to look it, like a hoe. Yeah. Did uh, she tell yeah. Megan? Did they have that conversation? That's what I'm saying. But best if friends would. If they did, that would make Megan look bad. If they didn't, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. If they didn't, that's not on Megan. It ain't. But I think I think Chelsea is expecting Tori to sort of, again, that 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 respect factor, like there where it's go. like, or at least Tori should have been the one to be like, hey, just I'm, to let you know, me and Chelsea had a thing. I'm sorry, but he ain't gonna do that, like. This is, no where, this is where women, women get it twisted. And men yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Men, don't expect the woman who potentially feels like your man could slay her better than you can because she likes the way he takes care of certain business better than you do. Mm. You got to be able to accept the fact that he's possibly a better man in her eyes. That don't mean you're not a good man. Yeah. That don't mean that you're all wrong. He was a better fit for her than you in her eyes. Yeah. So she's not gonna stop that man from tearing that pussy up. What mm. I mean is, oh yo, man, that's my shorty. She would have stopped. She may have stopped 50 guys. Yeah. But this is the guy she actually doesn't want to stop. Yeah. That exists. Mm. Women go, yeah, my man shouldn't and wouldn't. Yeah, but you do have to understand that there will be a woman that he may potentially not be able to stop. Yeah. I think. Men and women have to have to have an understanding have an understanding of that, right? So like what I mean by that is like every guy has a porn star that if they somewhat potentially ran into and that porn star cornered them, yeah, it's going there's down. not a listen, listen. Mm. If it's a weakness that mm. men have, let me take a fucking good look at this camera because ladies mm. need to listen. If there is a weakness that us men have, seduction would be it. Mm. Right, right. Why do y'all think the hoes win? <laughs> you think because they take care of business outside of the room? Mm -hmm. Or they're so seductive mm -hmm. that the man can't quite control his hormones or his fucking natural mm -hmm. nature to just conquer? Right? Right. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So with that in mind, you must understand. That porno star is different. Yeah. That's a different bracket. She's she's yeah. shown us things that we didn't think was possible, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's a facade. We know that. That's, That's her job is to yeah. sell a dream. A <laughs> but to get, but you can't put me in something like that. Hey, gotcha. You know your favorite movie star, ladies. Yeah. That guy dresses so well, mm -hmm. parts played so well, yeah. got a lot of money. I'd be stupid to think yeah. my wife has. The, 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 the. She better. I you guess. know, I'm sorry. That's sad. I, I should be there. <laughs> I should be there. Let me explain to you why. I don't have a wife. Most of us natural, normal people yeah. don't have a wife who's been around Brad Pitt's all their lives to control or Idra Alba's all their lives to control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would happen if they, if they bumped they into. They cannot control her. <laughs> they cannot. <laughs> you looking at your girl like. I've been 15. I never heard you laugh like this. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. I've never heard you. Like, what's you. wrong with you? Yo, you have not stopped staring at this nigga. And I can't stop you. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand how bad that is? I'm uh, I'm making sure you're comfortable and you're still looking yeah, at this nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. But could you blame? That is a... It's like a... As, as a kid. Yeah. 
the the king to they to their castle mm. before you existed was dumb. Okay, I always say here. that shit. Mm-hmm. It, it, if you're dealing with someone and they have a dream person and they actually come encounter, zero out for that time. You for your safety, mm. zero out. If you don't. Mm. You will be the most bitch made nigga on the planet. You're not gonna be able to let go. Her mm. life is gonna be something you will never see like that again. Yeah, ever. Yeah, be tight. You will never see the way she jumps up and down like that ever again. Be tight. These things are one of ones. Yeah. You're never gonna see she, boy. <laughs> She'll go to that to that concert with you. And then your your, your boy's gonna call her to the stage. You're gonna be like, trying nah, to tell nah, bro. And then and then guys go. Well, all of things I've done for her, she should know better. Why should she know? No, no, no. He gonna be tugging on her, on her, on her, um, her belt loop. Like, where the fuck you going? Like, don't hey, get on that stage. Here's, there, there's something I got. Some. Hey, uh, would you, you can ask females. Hey, listen, a uh, woman. Mm-hmm. How often have you been sung for? They mm-hmm. gonna roll their eyes at you. You finna think that she gonna pass up on a nigga mm-hmm. singing to her with mm-hmm. a button down shirt mm-hmm. with a little mm-hmm. bit of taco mm-hmm. meat coming out. A superstar. Come on, bro. Cut that shit out. A superstar. Yo, 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 no. The way I be hey, fucking her, you think not. fucking got anything to do no. with the way that the, the, that vocalness gonna have mm. her motherfucking her G spot wiggling, nigga, yeah, yeah, without yeah. touching? Waiting. Do, 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 do you understand? That nigga ain't got, she, ain't got touching. She better not. Right? <laughs> That's all hopes. This is what I'm gonna say. She better not. This, yo, yo, this is me. <laughs> yo, yeah, hey, look. Yeah, yo, she better not. She better not. I'll be back. I'll be back. She better not. I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going somewhere. I don't want to. to no, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm, dude, I'm a realist, my nigga. He's like, I don't want to. I don't want to know about nothing. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 nigga. I don't want to know about how he. No, he was so. I don't give a. F- keep playing, that shit keep to your fucking low. self. Keep it on Listen, the Listen, ladies. That Mario Winans. Mario Winans was not joking. <laughs> Yo, dude, he's not playing. Believe that shit or not. Men will be like, tell me, tell me. That shit cracks us, bro. Yeah. And, when, and when it comes to dealing yeah. with women, we see it as basically mm-hmm. like a project you started. Once or food, that's the best way to say it. Yeah. You're going you, you gonna to eat after somebody eating your plate? Another nigga then came and eat your plate. You're going to eat that plate? No, uh-huh. the fuck we not. We will go hunt. Yeah. And get, and another, get another plate yeah, before, another we, before we before we eat she that. Said, I don't want to know. Nah, Dogs. That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna stop for a quick second. Do you see what I said about people digging in our food? Women, stop it. Cut it out. Stop it. Stop uh, it. Now, back. My man, back touch to, touch on a wound and shit. <laughs> no, seriously. Yo, stop it. What Cut do it you want to eat? This? Okay. And cool. then the whole plate is getting. Yours look better. Guess why I look better? Because I actually mm-hmm. ordered it. Yeah. You thought about it and didn't order it. It looks better because I ordered it. Mm-hmm. Now. We we about to leave this topic, but back to the to the men. I mean, to the I'm speaking to ladies, but about the men, mm. women. This seduction shit is at a different level. I don't, I really don't think I understand. Mm. Do you understand? Like, all right, Lotto, right? Lotto, ladies, you would love to run into a nigga with a lot of money. It's like Lotto for you guys, right? Okay, mm. a woman with very 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 high seduction and knows how to carry herself for a man is the Lotto. Is is the equivalent? Yeah. Do you want to know why she can move in rooms to become the most non-sexual woman like this and then within an instant yeah. turn that bitch on and have the whole fucking room like she don't got no ass but the way I will knock this down holy mm. shit and you don't know why you feel that way I think this is where the saying comes uh, lady in the street freaks in the sheets right there seduction has to, there has to be that we that don't up. mean fucking a, a million niggas and then fucking me yeah. we mean yeah. it's a controlled form of sexuality yeah. You are the master of your sexuality. That yeah. shit turns us on mm-hmm. as men to a whole mm-hmm. nother. Yo, dude, another thing. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of women aren't really truthful about a lot of this shit. What I mean by that is they hold back sex because they know that is a way of. It is a comfortability for us. We clear our heads and they actually want it more than us. Meaning, sometimes, not every woman, but most. They want to get knocked the fuck down, but they're going to deny that same man vagina. They want mm-hmm. this nigga to knock it out the park like about two hours, and mm-hmm. then they hear their heads clear. They're, they're good. They're, they had a therapeutic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they will tell us, nigga, no five days straight. That'd be so needy, two hours. Yeah. The reason why I, I do believe it's a form of seduction, but from a man, mm-hmm. like a male's form of seduction. Mm-hmm. Oh, you hungry? Okay, be right back. Hey, I got you this right now. Yeah. Calm down. Mm. Calm down. Mm. I took care of that. I took care of that. Mm. 
Not really realistic. But you kind of get where I'm going with it. Yeah. I mean, listen, my, look, what do I give a fuck? I'm married. I don't give a fuck about it. But if I, if I had to be seen, bro, this, 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 this whole market, everything is different for me. I, I can't even imagine what it is to approach a female in 2022 and how to even, what that even looks like, what the expectations are and, and what it, this shit, this shit. Look, I'm not concerned. Y'all listen, y'all keep that issue. Like he said, listen, he said to Mario Wines, I don't want to know. You better fucking not. I don't want to know, man. Fuck that. Don't you know, do that shit at all, but I don't want to know. It, fuck that shit. Listen, at, at some point, you know, we married men. So for me, it's like loyalty is key. Listen, the minute, because here's the thing. I, I'm not that person. I don't feel like I'm a person that's going to get married again. I'm on that. This don't work. One and done. I tried. Because it <clears throat> is like, damn, if I could get played on this level. Of the playing field. Oh, because it's a, the level of sacrifice that goes into Yeah, it. it's like, come on. And especially if you truly, um, you know, like someone like myself, you know, I can't speak for everyone, but someone who is truly cut it off. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't try to holler at no chicks. I'm not even interested. Like, I, I could, I could, I could um, understand another woman's beauty. I don't think my wife is the only female in the world. I can't be that stupid. You know what I'm saying? I understand there's other beautiful women in the world. I understand all of that. But I have that control, like, where it's like, ah, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. I'll be damned. For all of the sacrifice, ripping up the black book, no contact with no females in, in a sexual manner, none of that. Just for me to find out that this is what you're doing on the side, bro, it's going to be, it's, I'm never committing on this level again. Period. I, I don't I don't believe in that. I don't know how I feel about that. I, 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 you you I, don't I, do I, it again? I slightly, slightly nah. agree with you because nah. that, that is the feeling and the emotion that I that I actually like would have in a moment. But it's yeah. like, as, as I know how life is, it's a little different. Just like I said, I don't want to know. I'm the type of dude <laughs> that I'm. I'm a kind of want to know. I'm a kind of want to know. And and after I know, I'm I'm a rare breed. I'm one of them type of guys. I wouldn't mm-hmm. net because I've grown and my my mentality is a lot different than the mental, lot, lot, the lot mental different. toughness. Very, very, yeah, yeah. But I feel like and I had a I had a conversation with my pops about this. I feel like I have this um. Mm-hmm. This form of understanding at which connectivity is a bit different to me than it is for everybody else. Mm. People have this thing that if mm. some if they're disconnected from someone or something that like they don't exist no more, their mm. life is no longer. I'm not that person. Oh, you mean like if that person just dis- like you shut down yourself, like you can't People eat go, no more. I I, I, I lost can't. this per. This is me. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> lost the person. Uh, did not lose the experience. Yeah. Every bit nah, of that yeah. experience there uh appreciated it the situation. And I'm yeah. at a point where like if uh I don't really want to say this because it's gonna give off a bad condensation. I don't wanna uh, give I don't wanna say this, but mm. I'm gonna say it because cause, cause it's dice, it nigga. Say what's right. Anyways, I wouldn't hold a woman towards the same shit that I ho- I held in the past. Before, if you fucking did anything slightly in forms of cheating, I'm fucking leaving. Now, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm a little bit more open. I understand that everybody's their own individual. And as a human, if mm. you are not giving something that you have given back and haven't gotten in return, and I don't only mean sexually, man. Yeah. This could be across the board. Mm. That you as a human deserve the right to get that. Um, I just... Mm don't want to be put in a predicament where my life could be put at risk. If that's taken care of, I actually feel like you actually took a, a lot more cautiousness than some people consider, out there. Because the, some the, people just do it raw, got the kid, or they get with a guy, get the money, then wind up staying, and or mm, wind up doing mm, some wild... Mm. It's like, this This went a little mm. bit further, maybe because that honesty wasn't there. Like, hey, you know what? Yeah. You stepping out... I don't know how I feel about it. You look like you're having a lot more fun than what, what's intended. I think you might you might you might just want to stay there. Nothing against you, but yeah. if you come back here, you're gonna be miserable. Like that life dude just showed you, man. I don't even want you to come back to it. Because if you start bitching in my I'm gonna be tight. Yeah, yeah I'm not Enjoy that to... life. But if when you come back, yeah. you know I'm gonna knock your ass down. Yeah. Well, when you come back, let me know. Hit me up. Yeah. Do you see see where I'm going with it? But it's like I really do feel like when you get into that point with age, mm. you you're not I understand why older people are like blunt like that. It's like, yo, we finna fuck or not? And it's like, yeah, we finna fuck, but at least you gotta put some some food in my stomach. It's like, all right, cool. You need some bills paid though. It's like the man knows what you're gonna get. Yo, you yeah. need you need your bills paid. All yeah. right, 
I can only take care of this. I'm not doing all that. But I can take care of this. And if you yeah. give me some fucking some ass, but I need ass daily and food. You give me ass daily and some food. Cool. I'll take care of them damn bills. Mm. At that point, it's where mm. that's the understanding. It's like it's no matter where I go in the world, I yeah. gotta pay a bill. Yeah. Cool. Can you do this? Got you on a bill. Mm. Back in the day, the guy would be like, I ain't paying for shit for no goddamn woman. I ain't she paying for her own shit. Mm. You mature. You realize this is yeah. what the world offers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't go around this. Yeah. I'll pay. I'll pay mm. your bills. What what can I get though? Because I couldn't get no head. <laughs> if you can give me head uh, and a full plate, the woo, transaction. Good. Here's the thing. I got one last thing. What's the difference between relationship? No, no. What's the difference between not a relationship? What's the difference between dating and prostitution? Dating and prostitution. What's the um... What's the difference between dating and prostitution, my nigga? Ooh, we gonna have to. We gonna have to like. We gonna we have to make a clip separately. Just a shit. I, I think just right off the top, I think the difference is um, dating is kind of more sugar coated in a sense, right? Like prostitution is just blunt. It is, it's 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 a transaction, and I think dating is is trying to sugar coat. Oh, it's not so much as a transaction. Like, hey, I like this person. I'm really interested in the person, but really, it's really the same foundation. It's a it's a it's mm-hmm. a it's an exchange. It's a transaction. I'm paying in order to have sex with you, whether it's male yep. or female. It's like, yo, I'm paying for dinner. I'm paying for all of this. Paying for all of that. <laughs> Yeah. You, you may not be getting the 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 money directly. Yeah. Right. I'm not giving you the cash in your hand and say, "Hey, let's have sex." Yeah. But it's like, still, here's a diamond necklace. Here's a you know, here's a here's a PlayStation Five. Here's yep. a whatever that looks like. And in exchange, I expect this. Yep. The only you know, prostitution is just like, hey, pay for the pussy. This is this. We're not gonna sugarcoat it. We're not gonna you know. There's a reason why you're paying. We're at fucking Ruth and Chris, and you're spending two, three hundred dollars on dinner. Literally, it's not because we couldn't go anywhere else to get anything cheaper. You know, so, so uh, for me, that's the only difference. I would say. Uh, so I agree with you. Uh, the only difference is legal, socially accepted. <laughs> Dating is socially accepted. Prostitution is not. Prostitution is illegal. Dating is legal. That's the only separation between the two, because technically, like you said, it is a transactional thing. The minute it's transactional, it is the same thing. But guess what? That is the only protection that women supposedly have. Yeah. Right. Just live your truth. Live. live you know what I mean, it and see, that, that's why I said what I said. After you grow up and you understand, dating is a legal form of prostitution, home skillet. You will start to realize mm-hmm. I can't sit here and. Be holding the same standards. It's not the same standards no more. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Thinking of how many people would be triggered? That's all. No. Do you want to know? Everyone that's triggered is a woman. No, of course. yeah, because obviously that's the what I'm laughing. It I'm is. Like. It is the protection they have to mm. keep the thing going. Here's what's so sad about that. Us as men understand that and still don't care. This is why men go about it the way they go about it. Um, are you going to take me out? Am I going? Fuck? So I'm supposed to just because you, you're taking me out? Yeah. yeah. It's a transactional. Because it's transactional. Women go, mm. I'm not no hoe, and I'm not a trick. Do you see how this keep going? So you're mm. not going to mm. buy a girl nothing, and you're not going to suck some dick? You, yeah. do, you, do you see yeah, how? Yeah, just, yeah. Keep, just keep going. Yeah, yeah. This, you is, wanna, this is your cost. This is my cost. And the only way it stops? Yeah. Dating. Mm. That's what you want to call it? Because it's dating. Yeah. Yeah. Could I be? Yes. Oh, okay, we're dating. Mm. We went on a date. I could still I could hit, though, right? Mm. Yeah, right, right. But wouldn't there yeah. also the difference between Whatever. prostitution and dating? Um, the prostitution that would mean you're sleeping with the same prostitute, though, right? So prostitution Nigga, you didn't drop the gym. Is At it, least is with it, prostitution, you get different. Po- you get what I'm saying, my nigga. So, 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 <laughs> now because you're saying what's the difference? I'm thinking in my head like, wait a minute, oh like, when you go to a God. prostitute, go to a corner. Unless you go into that same corner specifically, you just dealing with different Yo, women, you got and, a it's, point. and it's the same shit. But dating is Yo. more of a exclusive contract. You know, cool. if it had to be pro- prostitution, fellas, mm-hmm. fellas listen, mm-hmm. fellas, you ran into about two of them, and they say you ain't doing, getting, and seeing them without paying. Go get you some prostitutes, right? Wrap up. Mm. Spice yourself up. He get your hey, get you a up. nice, slim, any form of culture or race. Mix it up. You know what I'm saying? Get a bigger chick. Get a get, get a in between, right? Play around with it. Mm. You know, get some of them to teach you the language, right? <laughs> All of that will be much cheaper than less the stressful. dating. Less stressful. 
Yeah. Then the dating, you want to know why? They're not sitting there. This is for the guys who's dating. For the guys who are in relationships, yeah. stay with that woman, figure it out, learn it, make her happy. Yeah. Vice versa for the woman. We're talking about people who are dating. Relationships are a whole lot different, yeah. right? Because you should, there is a side of dating, I must admit, that's above all of this of what we're talking about. The side of dating is, I'm dating to marry. Yeah, yeah. That's the, perfectly the, the, that's fine. Be an that exists. Yeah. But you can tell whether, you can tell. The yeah. conversation's a whole lot different. Now, yeah. men get scared when women start saying, what is your five-year plan? Right? Cool, but she's right, nigga. Yeah. If she dating to marry, yeah. nigga, she need to know a five or ten-year plan. Right? For the men yeah. uh, who dating the women, and the woman is, oh, could you, that man ain't finna kick out money if he don't believe you finna stay around. He didn't pay it already. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't took a lot of women out and showed them a lot of good times. He's not trying to pay. So if you do your 50, he can trust you a bit more. Right? Right. Yeah. Same way how the female ain't trying to give up that ass without sitting there getting some, getting some pay for it. We all are trying to protect ourselves. The man trying to protect their money, women trying to protect their body. Right? We should all be here. Yeah. It's all transactional. We're all in this together. Right? That's why I did. Look, that's why there's two sides to this, right? You got to know who you're looking for and what we're doing, right? So either dating to me is transactional. Now, the other side of dating is, like you said, looking for someone to really settle down with. You're looking for a partner. So Lifetime partner. So... There is two key differences there. there is. So, like for me, it's, there is. It's, that's the biggest difference to me. Something is trans. If if you make me feel, and I think that you know, as adults, you gotta have that conversation right off the back. At see, the end, see, at, at the end of the day, that that I think that splits between what form of a date this is. Yeah, right? yeah. Don't not saying a sucker. Yeah. Dudes and yeah. women are going to still persist because they want to get what they want to get. Not yeah. saying they won't. They won't. Yeah. But it does change the. Because if, if, if I'm there to fuck and she asking me 15 goddamn questions about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, I'm mm-hmm. kind of trying to bail out. Yeah. yeah. Right? You're not going to want to, you're not going to want to, I mean, it depends. If, if she's extremely beautiful, you might, you might put up with a lot of shit or, and this is where the lies come up. This, this is how lies come you up. Know what? Or, or fa- because it's right. an end goal. But it's like, you should be able to tell off the, you could kind of tell off the cues like, all right, this person is this not, is genuine, yeah. is not. It doesn't mean it can't change. You could just be dating someone just for fucking, but at some point you're like, Yo, this person's fucking cool. Like actually There you go. And and it could change. And I think it could change. It could change. Um I think for again, uh, speaking from just a lot of women that I've spoken to that I know in my life, it's 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 the way that y'all see it, once y'all give y'all body up in that way, mm-hmm. it's a it, it don't matter how much of pimp talk you want to talk of how blah blah blah, you you there's some sort of entitlement there where it's like, I know this nigga didn't just Go and slap her butt in front of me. Although y'all not a couple, there, there, there's something there. So, hey, yeah. whoa, like, all right. ladies, mm-hmm. it, it, for for the woman I was watching this, please, please comment under this video. Is that the thing about it with the sex? Is it is it mm-hmm. the fact that during that sex session, that guy has mm-hmm. made you feel secure during sex? Is mm-hmm. that the thing that makes it where it's like, nah, man, we date. That's my. That's 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 the boyfriend. Yeah, depending on the performance, I I, I, guess. I, I, I think it may because it's like I, mm-hmm. I don't understand why why sometimes it's like yeah mm-hmm. I knocked down but it's like dude they may be able to they may try to read I guess how you can protect them based mm-hmm. upon how you handle them in the bed. That's mm-hmm. intriguing. Oh, he's that's strong. That's intriguing. Oh, he lifted right? me up. Some. Yeah, <laughs> not some. Or this I mean, nigga know what he doing? How, what the fuck is he? Whoa! That's, that's the other thing too. I might be dating other guys, but the way he's touching my body, the way he's moving, the way he, you know, he's patient with me. He's he's willing to do this. You know, whoa, what's going on here? Like the other guys that do it don't don't do this extra care. There's, there's a lot of things. So I mean, I'm not saying there isn't women that that can just because I know like maybe there are a few women I do know like nah, we just fuck that's it. Like they just literally they, exist. they, they do exist. exist. Yeah. Um, and, and guys who come on, please come yeah, on. Yeah, there, there's both sides to it, but for the most, for most, most of the time, it's it, there's gonna be a tie. There's no way you could sleep with a a girl for the most part and not expect her to feel a certain way. Yeah, you're bugging if you do. It's it's, and this is why the the, the honest conversation has to happen at the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Listen, this is what I'm looking for, and if she agrees to it, and some women do agree to it, and they agree to it because Changing they like you enough in that moment to where they're like, okay, whatever. But, you know, the longer you do it, the more you go through that, feelings start to kick in one way or the other. There is a middle ground where the female... For both sides. 
the, yeah, for both sides. Where mm-hmm. the female don't realize that, yeah, you kind of got you kind of got a, a, a partner, and then the male feels like they kind of you yeah. got you got a partner, and you mm-hmm. don't really realize that's what mm-hmm. it is. What I mean by it is like. The guy will be with a chick, right? And he then he's knocking this motherfucker down eight mm-hmm. months. He ain't really out there while now. He chilling, he concentrating, right? Mm-hmm. Now, with a lot of women, I need you guys to understand this woman. When a man is doing this, he's trying to concentrate on himself. He has a woman that he feels like he he can trust at this point in his juncture in his life to go out there and try some shit, new job, new gig, try to invest in something, do something. Now, where this fucks up is when a female goes, what are we? You're taking the guy out of his concentration on making something real for him. By the time he makes it real, he probably already going to have you in mind and like, oh, she's the one. Or yeah. she's not the one. Yeah. I do understand the impatience with the woman because they don't want to waste their time. But that right there is a key situation, mm-hmm. man. That mm-hmm. little situation goes bad. And I, it's like mm-hmm. I said, it's the middle ground for both. The man will sit there and keep hitting and not realizing that this has been two years. He's not constantly he's not even looking at the two years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He like, I'm concentrated, I'm locked in, we good, we happy. Let's keep this pushing. Mm-hmm. But she like, I, I gotta say something, or this nigga just gonna have us five years in just fucking. <laughs> and they not wrong though. Yeah. It, it, but see, it makes it weird because like, what then, are we doing? when you right, but when you mm-hmm. talk to the guy, the guy go, yeah, but then when I wasn't ready, it's like, are you gonna be ready, nigga? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It, 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 it's, yeah. It, it's the honesty, bro. Yeah. yeah In the yeah. middle, nigga, when were you gonna be ready? Yeah. It's right? She, it, she kinda had to say something, son. Yeah, it's been six years. Right? <laughs> now, not all women are right. Not all men are right. And there was predicaments. Some women could have moved too fast. Some guys could have stretched it out too fucking long. Yeah. But the um, idea is that is the middle ground that somebody has to say something. Yeah. <laughs> someone someone has to throw yeah, they Somebody gotta, gotta throw it in the air, man. Yeah. They got because like what we're doing, man. Especially when they and and unfortunately, which I, I think this is like, I don't, I try not to look at what everyone else is doing because females in particular, y'all really have a bad habit. They love that this. shit. They live through, they live through uh, whatever extension of the world and society that they have, internet, job. I can't do, I, I yeah. can't deal. Do, don't, don't, I, I feel like it's, it's, it's an, because, and that's what you say, like, let's say if it is a three, four year relationship and she's sort of like, all right, like we have no title, nothing. We just meet up, hook up, like we are with. I have the keys to your spot. You have the keys to my spot, but there's nothing of it. Like, hey, like, what are we doing? And she's justified in that. But, and sometimes the guys is lost to that. But you got to understand the shit that's going around. Females will look around. It's like, I have six female best friends. They've been with their guys the same amount of time. They're getting married. I'm not married the yet. Comparison the comparison level. The, the, it's, it's, then you got the, the parents pressure. Like, hey, what are you guys doing? Like, what, what is that this? Like, is this? Right da-da, da-da. But you can't. In a sense, yeah. that's why I'm lenient on women to some extent. It's like, yeah. bro, mm-hmm. they get rushed. Like sometimes they ain't even ever give me their moms. Yeah. Oh, like, can I get grandkids? It's like, whoa! Oh, I just doing? met your daughter last week, yeah, but you, man. but you look good and you got a good job. It's like, holy mm-hmm. shit! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You yeah, want her to be a baby mother, huh? Don't yeah, you? Some of them, yeah, just some for of them. a grandkid? Yeah, some of them Y'all them motherfuckers are weird. There's some of them with no class. I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you. I do believe that this is the why. Me and your generation, we had a lot of people, mm-hmm. including our, 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 oh, you you had a step. So, but my household was single single parent. Yeah, I believe because of that. Mm-hmm. Well, let me get some grandkids. In. You need to lock the nigga down. Make sure he can right, and then make sure y'all can right, kid. Mm-hmm. Because then if the kid and he like, I haven't fulfilled myself, mm-hmm. and you're wilding out, you're trying to get me to do a lot of shit. I gotta leave. Yeah, a lot of single parent homes happen because of that right there. Mm-hmm. I gotta find myself. I, I can't. I can't think at this point. All niggas is just douchebags. Yeah. I'm shooting your <laughs> club, your club, your club, and I'm a sucker, nigga. I'm out. Yeah, no, I can't do that, bro. Uh, I, I made a promise and I do it because I mean the castle. That shit was a, a it was a community of single mothers. That's what. It, that's what it was. Away. Not <laughs> bothered. That's what it was. Yo, he said the community. Can someone, no one can argue me with that. He said the community. Think about what the projects are. The projects are a community of single single parent mothers. You want to know why? Mm. If you live in a projects, Mm. the government is not going to assist you if you got a man in the house. My man. Let me check that government assistance. There you go. There you go. Government government assistance. 
is a nah, that, side nigga. That's the, no, no. That's that's really. He said I made that, myself. A that's promise the side nigga because I've seen too many single mothers. You know what's funny? It's it's, it's not it's to true. try to be grimy, but it's, I've always said to myself I would want I would wanted to have saved one of them, but I'm not getting no woman who has a kid by some next man mm. didn't make the right decisions are stuck in a in a non right decision she made mm-hmm. and isn't trying to fix that, but trying to get somebody else to fix help her fix it. Yeah. That's what I'm not doing. Hear me clearly. <laughs> if you are not willing to fix a problem, it's fucked up for you to get a man or a woman mm. to help you fix something that you don't want to fix for yourself. Just saying. That shit is crazy. Now, I, I mean, it... it I ain't gonna lie to you. You're right. This, this, this is such a good topic. I don't want to go to the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just end it here. We're, yeah, not, yeah. not yet, but let's just end it here. We could the, the carry the next parents, one. parents, um, and it's always going to be single mother, to because let's be honest, the courts, that's how they operate. They're, they're never going to say, give the kids to the father. Never. So they're, they are uh Wait, do, do you know why? Apparently it's because they... No, no, I'm not trying to be sexist or nothing like that. It, it, it's actually a logical reason. Because they they carried the child, so what, nah, what? it's because oh, back mm. in the day, during the time of them coming up with a lot of these laws and a lot of this shit, mm. there was war. Mm. Why are we leaving a kid with a fucking man who's nine times out of ten going to be recruited to fight war? We have mm. to leave it with the woman because the woman is not going to be in the face of danger. And if we have to recruit, and there's not a lot of, there were not a mm. lot of men a lot, during these times in certain mm. areas and certain countries or states or whatever case it be. So they had to pull whatever men, yo, dude. Okay, okay. But they got. The reason why the man had to go is because you had mm. a kid. If you didn't, then they wouldn't come come mm. to you like that. Because, hey, are you planning on procreating? Do you have a woman? Yeah. Well, you might want to get going because this is the first draft. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you might, might want to pop that out because you might be in the second one. We might need you, buddy. Yeah. yeah you might yeah, want to yeah, leave yeah. a a legacy. <laughs> think, think, think about it. This is society creating mm-hmm. single mothers, nigga. There, there has been a few instances War where like itself if the mom is unstable. Single mothers. War. Think think about it. Yeah, that yeah. means from the beginning of time, single motherhood was somewhat of a thing. The difference. Yeah. Men didn't go, you have 18 bodies, three yeah. kids. Because they just had land to live off of. Yeah, yeah. They, they wasn't they, they didn't really care about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, but it but, but we only talking about before slavery. After that, shit got crazy. Shit got crazy. <laughs> shit got crazy. There, there's on, there, Living there, off the land is only before There slavery. are fathers that are awarded to kids if the mom is a freaking cuckoo case. Yeah, yeah. Got to prove that on some Next wild shit. Yeah, you need the footage on deck. That um, shit's wild. But it is a fuck that... You know what's funny? That it, it's, it's, that's crazy. I also made a promise to myself somewhere. It's the same thing like I told my wife. I'm like, look. Me and you together, we have kids, right? Right. Um, I love all my brothers, all my sisters, and my brother, my sisters forever. This has nothing to do with that. Right. But in my head, I said, yo, if I have kids, I've I don't know if it's envied or whatever, but there was just ah, something gotcha. about where you're going. there was always something about the same mom, the same dad, all the kids under the same. So you made the, you and my wife made a promise that if Y'all will I stick. made the promise. Uh-oh. So to, I'm weak. This nigga said I made. The I live. She don't got a choice in this, right? <laughs> I'm weak. So for me, I told her, listen, like, because I'll have come kids, in and shoot the club. It's only you. Now, if we were to break up, with, you know, anything's a possibility. But I'm like, if let's say in the future, I was just like, damn, just I kind of want a third kid. Right. I don't care yeah. what you got going on. I don't care if you're dating someone. I don't care what you. Hey, I need a third child. I don't think I'm gonna be so quick to find someone else to. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. You get what I'm saying? I. Half brother, half sister, that shit doesn't matter. It's still blood or whatever. And you still love them the same. But when you're in a separate household, you grow up separate. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you're not in the same home. It's, you're not going to be seeing them every day unless, unless you know, dad got so much money. He has the whole family together. But nine out of ten times, it's not going to be like that. You got brothers and sisters in a whole other state, somewhere there, somewhere there. The baby mothers don't like each other. So don't think it's going to be some kumbaya shit from the gate. So it's like... But sometimes women don't. Yeah, some women... It depends. Once yeah. if it if it's kind of like didn't work with you guys, yeah. they be like, yeah, man. Depending, depending, not all. Some like I was like, he it broke up sense. this family to have a family with you, so it's beef or frat. But you know, adults got to be adults and think about the kids. Now, nah, because depending on here. if let's say this is mm-hmm. you, you like, hey, hey, I got somebody I'm talking to, but I'm not, I'm not dropping no bomb in that. I want to drop the bomb in you, right? And she's like, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know, we have kids together, but it's like, I love this dude and he wants a kid. Then you're kind of like. You're in a tight, you're in a tight situation in that situation. Then you kind of got to do. What well, well, do. for that, for that, that's her loss that she's taken. For me, it's like as long as I like for my two children. Now I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the that same sense. mom, you have the same dad. That's cool. What you're saying is you'll try. If it doesn't happen, it's like, all right, cool. You don't agree, but 
it is this, what it this, is. this is the way you the crazy part about that is yeah. my father says that to me all he's like listen if it ever if anything not wishing but if it ever Keep stay with one woman. Just keep it in one because it's easy to deal with. When you're sending the money, it's coming to one place. Yeah. When you're coming to visit, you're coming to one place. Yeah. When you go, eh, it's all one. Yeah, one, they know so, better. Yeah, because so, they they run it in the streets, so they 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 know they know the extra work that goes. Well, into if it's anybody who gonna fucking give some advice about it, it's my father. That motherfucker got no, no, eight got plus. It. So you know what and I'm saying? It's, it's so funny. My uh, my dad too. He's always drop. He's like, bro, listen. Take care of your wife, do because you know from all their mistakes and their trials and they've errors realized and all of that over years. Yeah, especially in the older age, they'll sit there and ponder about the shit. And when they see you in a the moment, they're like, "Yo, cherish this and make sure you do this and da da da." Because they don't want you to. Um, maybe in their youth, they didn't give a fuck about all of that. But again, when with older age, the older you get, you want to, you know. Um, at least I assume what it is, but I'm like, Pop, you don't even got to tell me anything, bro. I'm already so. It's just like you said when you made that pro- when you see all these single mothers, you made a promise to yourself, like, damn. You know, um, that won't be a situation. It does, being a single mother, it doesn't mean that you have to be with the person either. It's just right. be there for the kid and be the, the mother is not alone. You're going to be a single mother, but the father is constantly there. It's not like he doesn't exist. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Um, for me, it's for me. That's the uh, promise that I made. Like, damn, like, and not just for my sake too. Just looking at it, it's, it's I'm, you know, it's common. Like, there's a ton of people that have half brothers, half sisters. You just wouldn't know it. It's like, yeah, we, we have the same dad or we have the same mom. For, for me, I'm like, like, damn, I kind of want that. That fucking family matters. That that fucking you know, you know, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That you know what I'm saying? Because it's one family. Cool, it's yeah. the one. Yeah. So it's like, damn. I'm like, you know, let me try. I'm not saying there's nothing against it. Please don't take offense. But you know, if you know, it's it's the way that I would kind of. But like. we're men. We have to think about if something yeah. doesn't go right. That's just the way we're navigating. Yeah, yeah. Like if you if you trying to fucking. This is why I, you know, I would have built this. I want to conquer this. This is how we're I, we're I, we're fucking mm. we're made this way, bro. Like we right. want to conquer things and own yeah. shit and build mm. and find it and go. Hey, hey, look at that shit that wasn't there, yeah. but I had parts in that. That's, that's what we like to fucking do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or better so, yet, I guess though. Again, I'm getting older and I'm just thinking about it. Like even circumstances, even if I do find another woman, we separate. I, I, there's another woman. She's gonna want to have a family. If I love her enough. And let's say we do get married, right? I'm sitting here talking about never get married again, but who the fuck knows, right? You never know. Let's say that I'll does bring happen. them all together. It's my fucking kids. This is this is the and I'm you the not, mother of my child. I want you to be happy. Make I'm sure this nigga take care. He, he good. He not wilding like I was wilding. All right, we all good. But that's where I draw the line. I'm not hearing it from. No, my kids will be together one way or the other. I Pe- think that, I think that's more or less of what the people be is. trying to laugh yeah. at that. Like yeah, there's like it's like a. Uh, yeah. My, uh, the 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 in law of the kid, mm. no, I said that wrong. Step mother and stepfather, yeah. and then they're like it had to extend a little bit. Yeah. And people are like I don't know how people do that. And they all just chilling together. Why the fuck would you not? Yeah. You see, y'all the type of people who make shit complicated. Yeah, yeah. Y'all the reason why the world is the way it is. It should yeah. be community based to make sure the fucking kids okay. It's the kids. It's not about you anymore. Look, I- yeah, you I didn't think, work. You it's think good. I want to hit that? I didn't got two kids out of that. I'm all right. Yeah. I moved on. I don't want to keep looking back at that. Yeah. yeah. Right, mm-hmm. right. That's just how I see it. And I'm quite sure women yeah. are the same way. Like, no, we had our goal. You you did this. But this guy was making me happy. You took care yeah. of me. Good. As long as I'm like, you good. You are the mother yeah. of my kid. If you happy, my kid happy. We, we're all happy here, yeah, boy. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Come on. But, you know, there, there are those situations where the male or the female can't let go. There's always going to be that jealousy they where it's like, They both be Damn. fucking. That's why. Those yeah. are motherfuckers who keep fucking. The, yeah, that's some like, Yeah, yo, yeah they who, don't yo, stop. Yo, yo, who, that's who? a couple niggas that told me, like, yo, bro, yeah, yeah, I didn't even fuck the shit out of my bitch. I'm like, yo, my nigga, you make it seem like y'all already done had a kid. Yeah. Nigga, that was already your pussy at some point. It's yeah. like niggas, niggas feel good about that. Yeah. I mean, I tore that shit up. Yo, I don't know whoever she talking to. I knocked yeah. that shit out. You mm-hmm. did that before they were talking to that yeah, person, yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already. You just already... back in the same boat again, nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? No, no, no. What, what it is is it? Nah, that's my pussy. This nigga, he here, but he a bird. Like, they think if, they... if I want to take her back, I'ma do it. That's the. That, to me, that's still fucking stupid. Because if yeah. that's the case, I wouldn't let no one touch her in the first that's place. Just to conquer shit in men, we just yeah. have this thing of wanting conquer. to conquer. Seriously. Because women think that it's the wife. We don't give a... We never... I don't think a man actually mm-hmm. wants to conquer his wife. If he does that, he doesn't want you to be his wife. Yeah. We look at our wives as to be as like the the, the partner in crime. I'm quite sure you look yeah, at it that way yeah, and I look yeah. at that way like, yeah, bro, I don't sure. want you beneath me, nigga. I want you with the gun with me. Yeah. If I run out of ammo, I kind of want you to slide the ammo but also have a gun at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. want you to just be with no gun sliding me ammo. Yeah, give me the cover fire. Yo, homie, for yeah. real. And if I'm cover fire, I'm run over there. 
Yeah. That's how I see the situation. Mm-hmm. I see it. That's the only way I fucking see it. So if you don't see it that way, then maybe you'll want something different. You know, I don't I don't like that form of, you know, that's weird. Do what I say. That shit's weird. Have a life, motherfucker. Do something. Mm-hmm. I want to see you kind of get in. I like seeing my woman interested in something that they didn't think they were interested in. That shit turns me on, honestly. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh shit, yo, this is hot. Oh, I and they like really fucking in it though. They yeah. they in it like, oh yeah. shit, this is oh. Oh, I'm like, yo, yeah. oh, it, it's good to see him happy. Uh, yeah. It's something new, <laughs> something, right? I mean, like, it's like, cause Take leave me, me the man. fuck alone, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My like, man is like, find a hobby, so I could, so I could, so I got a little time. I'm weak. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You know, I was telling my wife today. I was like, yo, it's. I said, yo, this is. I'm really mad because, and she was like, I'm not looking for this type of excitement. And what I'm referencing is like. I'm like, yo, we really have this routine where it's like, I go to work, I come home. Like you, you know, like you're not even worried about me. <laughs> like, like you're not even worried if I'm at some chick's crib. You're not worried about what I'm doing. You, it's just like a, she's. I'm like, damn, I don't give you no headaches, huh? I don't give you nothing. Like, I'm not saying that I'm looking to do no, no, it. I don't know what you mean. But it's like we're it s- exists. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. I'm like, you don't got to worry about that. <laughs> That's one thing you don't. Gotta I'm do. like, damn, like yo, 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 we really in that in that phase where it's like, yo, we know where each other's at. It's, it's da da da. No one is really. Let me not say that. Let me not say that. Let me not say that. Cause it, it cause let me not say that. That's not true. <laughs> Niggas try to be safe. She, cause you never know. She be walking. Nah, nah, not saying nothing crazy, but just I'm just saying. Nah, because shit. It, Minute you say shit like that, it's that something comes out. You like, God nah, damn. she's super comfortable. And she has every reason to feel comfortable. She has nothing to worry about. But that doesn't mean because they, they they do be sick. like, who's that? Who's this person? I, I never knew this person existed. Who's that? Because then that's where it comes. Up. I'm like, come on now, get the fuck out of here. I ain't gonna lie, I get that. I get that every now and then. But it, the, the, the every now and then is a, it's a pretty long time. Yeah, it's not like month after month. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, like, oh, that's a friend. Oh, so so who's that? It's like <laughs> that's your friend. This will get me tight. I don't get a who's that with a hug, right? I don't get a who's that with a rub on my shit. Like, yeah. man, claiming your shit. I, yeah. I ain't gonna front. That's one thing that I kind of... Yeah. I, I, shit is really unattractive, son. Yeah, I hate the true. fact that women don't even try to remotely, like, mm. your mind. They don't give a... They just go, you got to fight for me. It's like, nah, nigga. Mm. I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm a prize. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a... You too. But I'm a fucking prize, boy. I think, I think maybe that's what I was getting at. Like, hey, you... You feel safe, don't you? Like you, you. Yo, for real. I'm, you don't yo, feel threatened. In I don't think you understand slightest. how much of a prize I am. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Like you're, 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 you're lacking. But am I? But the question. Well, I guess, I guess it's both ways though, because I don't really be. I don't know if that's a guy thing or if it. I just be like. Here's man, why I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't trip I don't too much about women because women are always like. Once a guy sees any vulnerability in a woman, and they want to try to test it. There's yeah. nigga. You can walk around. Mm. The most vulnerable, you can have vulnerable on your forehead. Women don't give a flying fuck about you. Do you understand? Yeah. The only time they care is if you're overly confident and so in debt into what you already doing. They're like, oh my God, he's cute. It's like, yeah. bitch, I don't see you. Yeah. Like, like, I don't even know you exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I'm when focused, they're like, yeah. oh my God. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Look what he does for her. It's like, yo. You, you seen that? Yeah. Yeah, but, 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 yeah, but, but when you when you like, yeah, man, I'm looking for this. I'm trying to make sure I get this for her. And you know what I mean? I'm trying to make sure, make sure it's good. Hey, they, uh, they, 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 but they don't care. But you, you, you in zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. She like pink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, get that smell. Yeah, 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 yeah. My wife love that. You know what I'm saying? Chick pump to the side. Oh my god, what is that? Mind your fucking business. Yeah, let me get that. Yeah, yeah. No. they all just start. It start. It seems That's like it hilarious. turns from one to fifteen females once you tell that one to mind her fucking business. They go, oh, he's loyal. Let me really try to get him. That's that's. I used to think that shit was a joke. I didn't think no, it's it was. Really, I didn't think it was possible. Really but, real. But, but the more you talk real. about how faithful you are, they go, "I'm testing you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, what yeah. would would you oh, like look, to do? Look, look what he did. Oh my god, look how he. Is. Nah, that, that's true. Negative. That's true. That's true. I see it. They're like, oh, opposed. They're they like, like what's not there. No, they hit you with the line like, damn, I wish I could find a man like you. Once you hear that one, as an experienced gentleman, you yeah. gotta know code red. Let's yeah. distance. Unless you, unless you know what you're trying to do, then you're gonna stick around. And, oh and, no, you and, shut them down. Yeah, but you gotta shut it down quick. Yo, you shut that shit down. All I'm really, I'm really kind of good at that, dude. I ain't gonna lie, and I don't try. No, no, no. It no. Isn't That's a what I'm saying. It's automatic. Thing. It's just more. You know what I'm saying? Well, I wish. More guys were like that. Yeah, man. A lot yeah, of dudes, man. a lot it's of people saying there. I wish a lot of females were a lot lenient, you know? Yeah. 
When you nah, say shit like that, you look dead in the fucking bro. face, dead in the eye. When you say, nah, it. I just disappear. I wish, I wish, you know what I mean? The, 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 my fellows, I got a lot of dudes who single, good guys, and they say a lot of the women are just pressuring about things. You know, they ain't doing their part of the. You know, they want to go out and they not, they don't want to cook a meal after the third date or anything like that. <laughs> they still want to go to Benihana's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's true. That's that's funny. It's like, damn, like she got a really good man, but do you know what she does to keep to 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 have that good man? Do you know what makes him? And that's the thing. And and um, you all researched, Diego. Have you researched what? the woman who they don't even say they got a good man? They mm-hmm. know they got a good man. They don't. They don't say. Yeah. Oh no, but I ain't got to worry about that. My man is good. They don't say mm, yeah. nothing. They're huh? just there listening to everything. Have you ever really sat there and like seen what the shit that they there's there's a YouTube channel this lady, uh, uh I think she's a little famous she's somebody chick but boy she starts cracking skulls it was two she was on a podcast with two females she started cracking skulls she's like oh um yeah you, you want a man to take care of you make sure everything's like yeah I want to make sure you take care of the bill she's like okay so what bill are you gonna take care of yeah what you doing nigga the look on the females what do you mean how many he gonna take care of it so what you gonna do. Mm. This is what she says. So what you gonna do then? Mm. So you just all day sitting in the house that's paid. Mm. You just going shot. Mm. All day? no, I mean, I mean, I could cook if you hungry. You mean? Yeah. yeah. You must. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what she Every day. Yeah. Will you, will you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You want a car? Yeah, I want to make sure you give me a car. Mm, okay, car note. All right, cool. Uh, house, right? Two, one, two car garage. Yeah. yeah, two car garage, you know, two family. Okay, mortgage. Um, okay, so what you gonna be doing though? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You go you grocery shopping? No, I mean, I mean like yeah, I hate standing on lines, so why he needs you. Oh, cause I can cook. No, you yeah. said you just said just now, every now and then. Yeah, you didn't yeah, say every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He pays mortgage every day. Yeah, yeah. Why can't you cook every day? Yeah. Oh, because I get tired. What if he gets tired of paying the bills? Mm-hmm. Well, then I'm leaving for another guy, so he should not deal with you then. Well, not, Silence, nigga. That's why I always say when they go, yo, she got a good man. It's like, do you know what it takes to not necessarily keep a good man, but how she even got in the position in Partner the first with place? A good man. It's partnership. And it's like, they'll look and be like, damn, you got such a good man. How? It's because of what she's willing what to she's sacrifice. With, to, to maintain that partnership where it's like you can have a good man all you want but if you treat him like shit and you bring nothing to the table that good man is going to eventually walk out and leave you get what i'm saying like oh he doesn't want me anymore well oh he left me for this chick but th- this chick is someone that has fucking a business this person is someone that has goals like she's pushing him to be better she you get what i'm saying you're just sitting here sucking him dry they will say the weirdest shit bro nah but you know um He's- but that man, that she ain't even on that party. She cooks every day. When he come home from work, <laughs> he says she cooks yo, every she, day. She cook. I, yo, for real. She no because yeah. as as men, if it's anything yeah. that we literally look for throughout a motherfucking day, yeah. is a plate, dogs. Yeah. But mm. of course you can buy it. Of course you go in and whip something up to put something in your stomach. Yes, for for some mm. who know how to cook. But for the most part. Dude, if it's anything mm. as as a man, and I speak to multiple men, mm. if it's anything mm. that we are looking for besides the body of a woman, mm. a plate. What's for dinner, baby? A plate, bruh. As long as you look out for me for a plate, yeah, what you want me to go that? do? I got you. I'm a yeah. I'm a, I'm a bicker, but I'm still take care of it for you though. Yeah, because you no, make sure I love I, the I'm What do you want for dinner? I'm I'm thinking this or this. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's what I need. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I need. Yo, if this this is this is one thing I'm ladies, there's more than than just that though. It is. Don't don't think it's just, just that. Yo, but, um, the one thing that I can say when it's mm-hmm. you know what you want to eat? Nah, I'm not sure. I think I got something. <laughs> and it it like it like goes above what you thought. It's like, oh bro. Your boy went on store runs after that. You feel me? You know, you know how you do one of those things like you finish eating your food and then you ask her if she need anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, yo, you need anything? 
You good? You straight? You, 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 you straight? Good? You straight? You sure? You're not doing no you dishes, lunch no tomorrow? nothing. You, you got lunch for tomorrow? You're not doing dishes. You got lunch? I got a little extra. Yeah, yeah. I sent you some. I got, you, I got you for lunch. Yeah, yeah, yo. Even, mm-hmm. yo, if, I, if I'm driving home and I've, in the past, if, 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 if you watching this, if you ever, like, wondered why you got, like, random flowers, that's, that's why. You, you know what you want to eat? No, 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 no. Just I don't because, know. yeah. Oh, no. I, 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 I got something in mind because uh, two days ago I wanted to make this and snack, so I'm going to make this and snack. Mm-hmm. You're, you're cool with that? All right, yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 into, right into the motherfucking park. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Let me go. All right, how about you? Later. Later. Flowers. I, I think, I think <laughs> it's, it's, it's doing something without the intention of getting something in return. Literally. I think, I think, I think when it, what it really boils down to everything is sort of like, yo, she did this just because. There, there was nothing she wanted. There was nothing, you know, this was just purely out of love, out of whatever, just caring about me on just a huge scale. So... There's a lot of key differences. Yeah. It's like, oh, I, because once someone starts listing off what they do for you, it's sort of like, all right, here we go back to that transactional shit. Like, oh, so what if you cook for me? What's your, what's your point? Like, I'm trying to understand what you, you get. What I'm saying. I so, get my part of this transaction. Don't, don't, don't try to fucking cut the receipt up. And and yeah, listen, man, people don't understand. Like, yo, did these people have amazing relationships? Oh man, what what keeps that person loyal to that person? Why can't I pull that person away? Why won't that person or even if even if it's even if dude shit. dude got a side piece, you remain the side piece forever. Like, yo, I can't seem to fully pull him away. Yeah. He won't, he will not leave it. It's funny, a true story here. Back in the day, there was always that one girl. I guess there was certain different time frames, but there was always a girl that could make me cheat. Right? Like, even if I was in another relationship, but there was that one specific kryptonite girl that was like, yo. All right, let's hang out again. And I'll be like, eh, all right, fuck it. It is what it is. Still exists. Just when you're married, you go... Unfazed. No, no, no. Either unfazed or... I'm, I don't like you. Yeah, it's... it's, it's... So I'm going to keep... <laughs> said, I don't like you. I'm going to keep it as brief, mm-hmm. distant, short, whatever form of vocabulary that suits mm-hmm. whoever's listening. I'm going to stay here. Yeah. And I'm not gonna go there. I'm not. I don't even want to entertain what's there. Yeah, that once, doesn't even. Once you look find someone good. of a certain caliber, I think the minute, and that's how I knew. I was like, yo, I'm not even. No, I don't even have time for you. You're not worth losing. You know what I'm saying? It was like, and this one could get me to do that whatever. Affect, you could get me to cheat on whoever. Like I was just like, yeah, it is what it is. But it's like once I got there, I was like, hmm. I grew up. I started realizing, like, damn, like, all right, I don't want to be a trick anymore. Like, I need to find a partner. I need to. You know, not necessarily. I hate the "what do you bring to the table" thing. It. I hate when 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 uh just when the question is asked in general. You know, I so feel like that's a the best thing that you can say. You know, if you don't want to say that, is what? How can you mm-hmm. help me become better? Yeah, it's it's. Or it's, how can we help each other become better? You know what? Maybe it's not a bad thing to say. What do you bring to the table? It's not a bad. I thing. just think it was used for so long. For that, in a bad turn, in, in a manner. bad, in a bad manner, that is like, damn. When you hear it, else, when you yeah. hear it, it's like, yo, what do you bring to the table? Even if the person was being genuine, like, hey, you know, this is, you know, I can bring this to the table because it's, it has such a negative thing tied to it. Now it's like when you hear that shit, it's almost offensive. Like, I think the reason why is because mm-hmm. we live in an age full of people who don't bring anything to the table and they don't understand what <laughs> the table consists of, <laughs> what the needs are at the table. Here's why. They just bring the if chair. If you bring up some, I right, you know what? After this, I'm just yeah, because we, we can do the shit all night, dogs. This is a topic that can go on for all night. Yeah. Stack with you. So yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna add no more sauce to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just, I'm just. I don't know what the I'm, fuck we're talking about. I'm gonna catch, I'm gonna catch, catch y'all later. Um, what the fuck was we at anyway? But anyway, we, got, we, we got the fuck. I think it was an academic. We got, but... we got into the relationships stemming from the Chelsea and Megan and how they're the the. Talking. Did he fucking do it or not? Like, what the fuck? Like, this is shooting like three years in terms of shooting them because they got. <laughs> Look, we went right back to court. the conversation. Now it's court. It's, it's in April. It's, April. No, no, it's like? it's they've been going through court. It just got rescheduled for April. So it's it's actively happening now. That, that's the only reason why I brought up the last time because it's actively happening. So it's just updates about shit that's happening. So that's talking. the main reason why it's being brought up, and it's because I kind of want to. Um, I want to see what happened in the situation. I hope both of them come get away, Scott. Free and nothing harms neither one of their careers too harsh, but I don't believe that's what's gonna happen. Somebody gotta lose now. 
Uh, I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm sad. <laughs> It's sad. It's sad. That's that. That's the way the world is. The way the world is now. Someone is like, gonna have to somebody lose. Somebody gotta bro. lose. It's no longer uh, you gain and you can learn from your loss. It's like no, you lose and now you're just buried. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's been going on for a while now and it's it's a lot of shit going on. So it is what it is. But um, look, we're gonna catch y'all next week. Um, catch y'all motherfuckers on the flip side. What else we got coming? We I had to get in my comedian shit. You feel me? I had to pull the fucking mic off oh, and, and hold that shit. Look, you know what I'm saying? My, my comedian brother got shit. in his news reporter when you he got to hold saying? the mic. Brought to you by. Yeah. <laughs>